Oh guys, Jurassic Guest here. Today we're back to Guild Wars 2. So the Ice Brood Saga has come out with another episode, so we are going to go and do this. This is episode 2. Now, next week is going to be for part 3. However, we've already finished that, so we're probably not going to be doing an episode specific on Ice Brood Saga 3, so sorry about that. However, if you guys want to join in on the adventure while we do this one, it would be much appreciated. Alright, so let's go and click that, and then we're ready to go. Alright, so let's see here. Now, it looks like this episode in particular unlocks a skin for a scepter, or at least that's what I've come to the conclusion online. It looked like there was some sort of scepter skin that you're able to claim right now, and that's the only thing I could find so far. So, we're going to beat this episode and see if that's actually true or not. So let's go and start this thing. Commander, we've got a problem. It's Bram. He's gone. Gone? To find Ridlock and Precia. They haven't checked in for days. I ordered him to stay put, but he wouldn't listen. All right. How many vigil did you send with him? None. We're stretched too thin, and he refused to wait for reinforcements. Ever since that gate opened, he kept saying we had to go west. Wouldn't shut up about it. Things got heated, and he stormed off. Yeah. What do you think? I think we've lost a lot of Norn to the Whispers. Norn we trusted. I know, but Javi, that's not Bram. I'll meet you at the vigil keep. All right, so let's see here. Commander, while the vi vigil continues to struggle against the constant encroachment of the enemy jeep forces, I did manage to send a small scouting party to explore the unopened gate with cover leading into the western mountains. After much trial and error, the scouts were finally able to dissipate the Savannah Shaman corrupted magic and unlock the door with the Raven Lens. Ritlock and Kreesha went through almost immediately to chase down Bengar. Though I've yet to hear any word from one since they passed through. I don't have any scouts I'm comfortable ascending through the gate, but I know what lies on the other side. The lake where summoners called out to the ice dragons champion long ago. It is a place of great power. Great and terrifying power. Be careful. Alright, so let's see here. So back out of that boom. Now then, are we just supposed to be coming here? Oh, nice. <laughs> Looks like we're just... Oh, are you... You're not going meter, is it? I'm going to assume it's up this little stairs here since it seems like it's going to be right next to us. So hold on. Come up here, search around a little bit. Yeah, all the way to the very top. Nice. All right, so let's see. She's right around the corner. Let's see what you have for us. No. And with everything since Elmora, I don't have any scouts I can send to look for the three of them. If Bram was heading west, then I'm heading west. Keep in touch on the comms. I will. Alright, so hold on, let me make sure I tell people we're live and we should be good to go. So we have been doing a whole bunch of how-to videos on the channel, so tomorrow, just so you guys are aware, we're not going to have a live stream. However, we are going to be testing out the brand new Call of Duty Vanguard, which we will probably be doing a live stream of the actual zombie mode itself on Friday. But we're going to try to have some how-to videos out on Thursday, that way we can get everybody all hooked up that way we can figure out how to get pack a punch on the best way to run trains all that fun stuff all right so let's see here keep searching for bram in the west vigil keep so one good thing about this game is there is going to be a mount called a springer basically these guys are very good for fall damage though so, you got a bunny all you gotta do is hop down boom look on the same thing swap to the raptor since they're slightly faster and you're good to go i do not have any flying mounts yet but that's probably will be the next stage up besides what we're doing now but we're just going to roll with this raptor. There is going to be a frost event and everything going on inside this area, but we're just going to roll with it. See something? Maybe. Not sure yet. All right, so follow the vision west. So let's see, our health seems, seems to be fine. <laughs> we haven't actually died from the cold, I don't think, yet. What is it, Commander? It's Wolf. Keeping his distance, but he wants me to keep going west. Wolf well, spirit. We'll follow him. You said he's leading you west? Right to the mountain pass, where Bram was going. What's on the other side? A frozen lake. Our people know it well. It's where Svanir gave himself to Jormag. Right, that old legend. I'm going through the mountains. Catch up with me, all right, so let's see here. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Looks like we need to come up top, swap our mounts over to the Springer again, and just hop up here like a so. <laughs> It is very cool that they actually added mounts inside this game. I can't imagine sitting here and actually playing this without one. Same with most MMOs, it's like they're designed to be so big, it's almost like it's impossible to do these without a mount. Snow, the mountains, that crisp, clean air. That crisp air is freezing my limbs together. 
Your pretty scenery is actually killing me. These are prime hunting grounds. I envy the Coden. The creatures here put up a proper fight. As opposed to the hundreds of creatures we've had to fight literally everywhere else? Yes. They were all weak. Describe, if you will, the ideal Norn hunt. A creature so large it blocks out the sun. And so... Oh, were they just like random things? I thought they were part of our story. <laughs> Obviously, as an MMO, everything, you know, is going to be living outside of your quest line. So there might be some times where you think an NPC is for you, but nah, they're just happy to be walking the same area. All right. So they got like a green attack thing. I'm assuming we're still supposed to be killing these guys. Obviously, there's the one wolf that they seem to have already been fighting. So I'm guessing we're supposed to be protecting this guy and he's going to take us the rest of the way to where we're supposed to be going here. You hurt? Ears wolf? What's he doing out there? I've got a good guess. Garm, where's Bram? <laughs> Take me to him. Hurry. Do we actually have a pet wolf inside this game that we never even knew of? See, now this would be really cool if we did this quest line and actually got like the dog for your home instance inside this game. That's another thing that we haven't necessarily explored too much of. The only thing I've found so far how to actually get to the candy corn because that's basically just like straightforward thing. I think the rest of it's going to be a whole bunch of nodes that you can actually pay for with like real money. But it seems like the candy corn is going to be the only node that I'm going to be able to get for the time being. So we'll see. Hopefully with this next expansion, they might actually allow you to start gaining a little bit easier things like that. And we will eventually have like a tutorial on how to level up the best for like tailoring and things like that. That way you can actually increase your bag size. All right. So let's see here. All we got to do is follow Graham around this area. Looks like Graham stops at every single one of these enemies, so we're just going to clear these out for him and see where we actually lead off to. Yeah, I think you guys are having a good day. All right, so let's see. Got us a little bit of a wolf. So I'm wondering how this quest line works if you're not a Norn. More Svanir. Don't slow down. Keep going. Because it makes sense doing like this region in particular because of the fact that we're supposed to be connecting to these people with on a spiritual level because that is what the norns do inside of this game's lore however the other races aren't going to be as connected as this so i'm not sure how everything works in like unison together i'm assuming everybody just has the same quest it just makes the most sense if you have a norn-ish style character same with like earlier game i'm sure the sura character probably blends in a little bit better with like the storyline for example, when we were going back in like the whole robotic town and everything where we were helping them against the destroyers, that sort of made a lot more sense playing as the other people versus us, since we're supposed to be mostly isolationists, basically. All right, so let's see your boom. And they're also very well connected to nature, which is why they can turn it into spirit forms like a wolf, a bird. There's a whole bunch of things that you can actually do in like your spirit form, which is going to be our last ability slot. I normally use it for our plague ability since that seems to be the one with the most damage that we're actually able to do though. All right, so let's see. We are taking quite a bit of damage, but we should be able to kill them off just as easy. So it seems like if you're using a scepter, you have a little bit easier time surviving this game versus the sword, but we do so much more damage this way. <laughs> All right, so let's see the wolf actually. Oh, no, no, no. All right, nice. So we do need to kill these guys. I was about to say, did the wolf actually just like stop everybody in the area? So some of our abilities, we actually grant us a little bit of health loss, but we're going to be able to do so much more damage to them that we normally find it worth it. Let's see, so let's go and turn on the dark armor. Let's see what we can actually find around here. So the wolf's going to be fighting on his lonesome too. That's pretty cool that we actually have companions that are able to defend themselves. All right, so let's see here. So that brute's dead. We got another dude all the way in front of us. We're just going to take a few hits here. We have dropped down to 6,000 health, but we're slowly leeching away enough health, so we should be fine. All right, so in two seconds, we're able to go back into Reaper form. Basically, we're relying on that because it seems to be a little bit stronger for us. And that's basically what we've tried to deck our character out to. All right, so let's see. Let's quit trying to do that and just finish him. All right, so hold on. We need to do Spiritual Grasp, bring everybody to us. All right, so we need to drain the life force of these guys. Hopefully that wolf's able to survive on his own. Let's see, are we able to drain this dude's life force enough to revive ourselves? It looks like he's going to die here in a second, so we should be good to go. Yeah, we'll be fine. Sweet. All right, so let's see here. Boom. Yeah, so as a solo player, I definitely highly recommend trying out a Necromancer if you're new to the game. 
let's see here. So let's do you. Mainly just because of the fact that you get a lifesteal ability on the ground. So some of the other characters, you're able to mess around with the enemies, but you can't necessarily pick yourself up that easily. These are going to be the best characters for like trying to solo play the style of the game. Let's see, so let's back off. Might try to do a few things. So it looks like there's a couple guys here that are actually fighting alongside us on accident. It just happens to be two different enemy types that we bumped into. But they don't necessarily seem to be friends. So that's good news for us. All right, so let's see here. Place a few more things down on the ground. Or, I mean, <laughs> a big old gigantic ice structure is going to sit here and help us out. Or might as well do that. Oh, the regular dude's back again. All right, so let's see here. So that one's got deferred. Swap over to this form. Just finish them up. So Bram, was that his special wolf then? Or where does the wolf come into place? All right, so hold on. So we get this dude killed. Started pouring out of the forest. Had Garm go call for help. How'd you find them all the way out here? He found me. Didn't think he was real at first. No idea how he even tracked me down. Speaking of tracking down. Where are we on Ridlock and Precia? Still missing. But I found something else. The source of the Whispers. Jormag's champion. Drakkar. Mouthpiece of the Elder Dragon. You've... Um, probably got some unfinished business there, huh? Drakkar turned my great-uncle Svanir into a monster that spawned a Jormag-worshipping death cult. I didn't forget. There's a Coden village up ahead. Locals are pretty twitchy. They wouldn't let me in. Offered to deal with those Vaughn here. Maybe gain a little goodwill. Smart. Maybe they can help us find our wayward char. And if your car is there, then so am I. I'll meet you at that Coden village. Bram, stay put until I get there. Oh, they have her mount disabled. Okay. Not out loud. But I know what she's really thinking. All right, so we need to enter the Kodhan settlement. Looks like we're going to be stuck following his pace, so it's going to take us a little bit. But let's see here. So, so far we've managed to skip the prologue. We've done episode one and now we're working on two. Episode three we already finished and I believe we did most of five. So we are going to be able to fully do the Ice Brood Saga. I'm waiting to do part five once we finish out the rest of the stuff since we sort of skipped a couple chapters since I didn't think it was going to give it to us for free. But it looks like we're actually good to go. Round two. He took care of those spawn here for you. Can we get a little gratitude? And who is this? I'm the Pact Commander. The Dragon Slayer? Here? No. No, this is a trick. You just want me to open the gate. Like I said, pretty twitchy. We're looking for our compatriots. Two Char. They were scouting this valley. How do you know about... You're with them, aren't you? Your voice is broken, but I still speak for myself. Whoa, 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 hey! Mind your thoughts. Cloud Seeker will see these two. Oh, okay. I thought we were about to have to kill that guy. It's a deterrent. Like when he stole those Iron Legion cannons, aimed them right back at Black Citadel as a deterrent. Yes, but I talked him down. That's why we need to find him. He listens to me. Grisha, Ritlock, what happened? They thought we were with Bangar. Weren't about to start killing Coden, so we came peacefully. <laughs> Mostly. Welcome, Dragon Slayer. I am Cloud Seeker, Claw of Still Waters speaking. Come, let us talk privately. So, so far. <laughs> <laughs> we met gigantic frog people, and it looks like now we found sentient polar bears. Very interesting. All right, so let's see. So we're waiting for these guys to open up the door. It's always weird following like NPCs inside of games because sometimes their like natural walk speed is slower than what the character is. Because <laughs> unfortunately, we like push forward twice, then we gotta wait for them to catch up to us. Are their own. Yes, they've been tracking an army through these mountains. Ah, now that's cool. I fear their leader hears a voice that is not his own. Jormag tempts those who seek power. Whispers guide them to Drakkar. Then they are turned as Svanir was long ago. Drakkar, Jormag's champion. 
more than a champion. A mouthpiece. The Elder Dragon cannot whisper beyond its lair without it. So, take out your car, stop the whispers. Maybe Bangar and Ryland come to their senses too. Jakar is protected, and not by any ordinary magic. My Claw, there is another Norn to see you. A leader of the Vigil. A friend of ours. Her voice is, uh, also her own. A Norn leading the Vigil? General Soulkeeper has fallen. I'm here to stop that from happening to anyone else. What are you thinking? If you can kill an Elder Dragon, then we can kill Drakkar. Every great quarry has a weakness. We just need to find it. I've brought some Vigil Scouts, but they won't be enough against the Dragon's Champion. My people are in no condition to fight. They falter. Our clan's voice is gone. Coda no longer speaks to us. We don't have a choice here. If Jormag's luring Bangar into a trap, we need to act now. Drakkar corrupted my ancestor. If it turns Bangar and a whole army of Char, that's... Not going to happen. Cloudseeker, if you help my people, shake them free of Jormag's influence. I promise, we will help you. Go then. Release your friends. Hunt well, and may your voice remain yours. Oh, just like that? Nice! Alright, so let's see. So, looks like we just opened up the gate. He's grown! You need to focus. What I need is to get out of this damn uh, freedom. Hey, Snowface, give me back my stuff. <laughs> we'll try to pick up Bangar. All right, so let's see here. We'll get everybody all decked up. This lake, let me know. This could get a lot worse. Worse? Let me tell you about worse. Worse is Bangar getting away. Worse is my son being corrupted by an elder dragon. We're going out there, and we're gonna find him. He wants something. Jormag knows it. Mind his voice, or it won't be his much longer. The whispers. They're more forceful here. I hope you have a plan. Working on it. Stay on the comms and keep in touch. Good luck. Great. That wasn't too bad for the first part here. All right, so we got two scraps of Ice Brood Saga Mastery. We got a Guild Strong Box, Sip of Liquid Karma, and 10 Eternal Ice Shards. So we're going to collect all that. And let's see, we're going to have full inventory. <laughs> all right, so hold on. We'll, we'll just scrap that. And scrap here. Boom. Consume this. Open you up. So we got a. Oh. Not usable by your profession. All right. Toss that out. Boom. So we got some pile of bone dust. We can toss that out since we got plenty of stacks. I know that there's some stuff that we just have duplicates and stuff, up, but we will eventually get a bigger <laughs> inventory. That'll just come in a little bit later. All right, so let's see. What other things do we have here? So we got our chest of Raven's Hero. Double click to open. Contains one simple liquid karma, two eternal ice shards, and one scrap of ice brood saga mastery. Auto consume. So we got that, and we got us uh, 10 eternal ice shards. Sweet. Nice see, so we'll hop back into the next area here and continue on. Typically, it seems like these living world quest lines, you press have like five or six parts to them before they're actually complete. All right, so let's see. Cleanse Kodak burial sites, aid Kodan's ice fishers, loggers, and protect Kodan scouts from the claw of Jormag's bombardments. Looks like there's one right around the corner from us, so we're good to go. We're just going to X out of that. All right, so we actually need to exit the camp and then run all the way around here. So hold on. Let's see, so the gate automatically opens. Sweet. Good news is it doesn't look like you actually have to do any of like the main fighting the boss guys around here, like the group world events. You just have to do a whole bunch of like little things. So the little things shouldn't take too long to actually do. All right, so hold on. Are you? So these are all just like regular fallen people. So we got a vigil merchant. Here we go. These guys look like the people who are supposed to be helping here. Let's see, so we got a fallen wolf. Looks like there's just a regular person here, probably doing the exact same quest line we're doing. So these guys are actually werewolves inside this area. That's kind of cool. All right, so hold on. So we'll kill this guy. Boom. Now then. Dragons watch the same one who cracked the fang of the serpent. Bram Erson, yes. Can't say that I'm confident that'll actually happen. Right. Remember, he's already tried it once. Didn't work out so well. He's missing the bow, too. The bow was kind of the key to the whole thing. I'm assuming we're just supposed to kill all these guys here. So we got Chief Logger. So obviously, 
I guess we're supposed to be helping the polar bear people, though. It's not necessarily the vigil people. So hold on, we're just going to leave these guys alone and see what the logger has to say for himself. We must clear the forest bush to safe pass. Blah, blah, blah. We need help. All right. So let's see here. The Kodan will flee the forest in eight minutes. Bell trees, clear bush to help the Kodan. All right, so hold on. So something like this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, so good news is we actually have a little bit of help here. So we need to find some bushes around here. We did sort of skip through the most of that stuff since that dude was over there doing it. All right, so let's see. Nice. So there's going to be some saplings. It looks like a lot of the code in are automatically going to be doing this stuff. So let's do you actually harvest on your own. All right, so you have to actually attack the trees for them to break. We got one bad guy chasing us right now, but we're not too worried about it. All right, so let's see. So we'll drop a plague spell here. Went over into the next area. So basically, there's going to be the following Kodan infantry, which they haven't necessarily, I guess the whispers and everything is what's corrupting them. But they haven't necessarily said like why they're actually having issues with their fallen compadres. All right, so let's see here. So we got sapling. It should be destroyed here in a second. We got six minutes, 57 seconds here. So we're just going to keep on destroying some stuff around here. All right, so we got knocked on our butt. Let's see. The news is we got a person helping us. That, <laughs> Especially for like this late in the game. That's kind of cool. All right, so let's see. I guess technically they are giving away for free during this week. So would you quit trying to type that? They are giving away for free right now. So if you are trying to do this specific quest line here, it's probably best to do it when they do these free events here in case you want to do this with like a whole group. Because I'm sure it's definitely going to be a little bit harder if you are trying to do this solo. All right, so let's see here. Ooh, is he talking to us or is he just speaking to somebody in the game? Oh, that guy. All right, so let's see. Wipe out this stuff. So we got six minutes and six seconds to go. Let's see, so we're going to run through the trees here. So it looked like there was a couple more things on this side that we needed to attack when we were doing. Like, yeah, a couple more bushes. We got some trees. Looks relatively simple, though. So basically, the loggers are going to automatically be attacking things while we're doing the same thing. Things are going to be spawning in. So the plan is going to be to try to wipe it out. That way, they don't have to worry about it. So we got the force cleared majority of the way here. So we're doing pretty good. They're going to be taking on the left side over there. So we're just going to stick over here to the right side and do our job and hopefully clear out this entire forest relatively quickly. All right, so let's see. So we got that sapling destroyed. We got a couple fallen bear shamans running around over here. Hold on, buddy. You want to get like super close to this little tree here? All right, sweet. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That dude hit super hard. Hold on. Now, I'm not entirely sure if this polar bear next to us can actually pick us up or not. Hopefully he can. Or hopefully he, you know, at least like attacks this dude, but no, nope, doesn't mean he does anything. <laughs> so we are going to try to fight for our survival here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is he actually attacking him? So he is attacking him. We got more bad guys on our side. So maybe these guys hit harder than I was expecting. Looks like there's a whole bunch more people on the left side than there was over here. So we're not going to transfer world since everybody's doing it in this area here. Let's see, so we're just going to spawn back inside of our spawn zone, run all the way back across there. Sorry about the death. All right, so let's see. So if we just need to come around up here to the right side, we're going to cross here. Yeah. A lot of these quests, obviously, are going to be a little bit easier if you just happen to stumble upon a group. So if you're doing them during the free weekends, obviously, are going to be a little bit faster. Bravo. All right. Now we got the forest cleared, but look at the progress that we've actually done. It's like hardly anything inside of the actual zone itself. Oh, well, now everybody's on our side. <laughs> All right. So let's see. So maybe we are going to have to do like a whole bunch of group events to actually progress this quest. I didn't think that's what they were going for since it didn't seem like we were supposed to be attacking bosses. But it looks like this actually is quite an ordeal. All right, so we got four minutes. We did majority of the stuff so far. We are going to try to take out these shamans real quick. I don't understand what the difference was between the ones we're fighting now and the one that sat there and basically one hit us because we got hit pretty hard. All right, so hold on. So we're going to plague again. Get up, go. There we go. All right, so we got another tree sapling here that we need to destroy. Nice. Werewolf's almost dead. Sweet. Get the bush destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got plenty of time to actually finish this, but. All right, so he's doing long range. I wonder how much percentage wise is actually going to fill up because it might be a little bit of grinding to actually get this area finished. 
All right, so hold on. We're going to run past that little bear here. Since we were on a limited time, the bush on Mac gets destroyed. It seems like the bushes are a little bit quicker than the trees. All right, so we got a couple people down this way. We're going to go for the bush. No, we don't need to. Nice. Earn gold by producing one on one code on forestry events. All right, so let's collect that. And we're just going to follow this map here. Looks like a whole bunch of people are all doing this exact same thing. So we're just going to run down to the left here. It wasn't me. I'm right though, aren't I? You don't care about the Legion, the Tar. You just want to get him back. You're damn right, I... I want a lot of things back. Then you never should have left. Lock the losers. <laughs> this thing's basically done. <laughs> Help the Kodon gather fish for the village. You two alright? Need backup? No. We're fine. Alright, so hold on. So somehow, I guess we're just supposed to pick up the fishermen? Let's see, place the Arctic tuna on the table on the fishing hunt. Oh, and we're actually supposed to fish fish too. Alright, so hold on. So we got all those guys dead. We're going to pick up these fishermen here. Hopefully they catch the fish for us. Or it automatically gives... Oh, event failed. Never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna say, all we're on Mac is a finish, but no, that that was definitely bad. All right, so hold on. So we need to do whatever this thing over here on the right side is telling us to do here. Hopefully, it's down on the bottom floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't hear Jormag in your breath. Once you're ready, I'll begin the cleanse of the shrines. Jormag's servants will do everything they can to stop us. So, you guys think what are the odds that people actually happen to walk upon us? Obviously, they were sitting there trying to kick us out, so everybody said no. <laughs> we're just going to roll with it. All right, so hold on. So if we swap over to you, we should be able to place a couple curses around here on the ground. Slow these guys down to rest a little bit. Once they get close range, then we'll swap over to the sword. Let's see, so we want to do the play because this is going to stick on the ground for quite a while there. So that should at least hurt anybody else who runs into the area that we haven't fought just quite yet. It is only one at a time, though, so maybe it's not going to be too bad. Ritual progress. Looks like there is going to be a little bit more. So. Oh, these guys got invisible. Let's see, so hold on. We need to wait for them to come to us then, basically. Looks like we don't have the mastery point to actually see these guys when they go invisible. So we're just going to have to wait for them to be on the regular ground here before we can attack them. It's one guy dead. I do see this like little status effect here. Is that just because there was a search bar? Looks like we're good. All right. So we got us a Mermello. Huh? <laughs> I like the dude's name. All right, so hold on. So get up. We got to finish this dude. So they do seem to hit kind of hard. Now, I am noticing that these guys are level 80 instead of 81. So maybe we died so quick because that one enemy was level 81. I just now thought of that. I'm wondering. So that must mean they are planning on increasing the level then. All right, so we got some sort of portal here. I'm assuming that is going to be for the jackal. So there is another mount or a couple mounts that we haven't actually acquired that are on land. Eventually, we are going to get the roller beetle and things like that. It's just most of the mounts from here on out are going to either require a whole bunch of gold or they're going to require a whole bunch of extra like grindiness to actually earn them. So we haven't necessarily been trying to get them too much. I kind of like the fact that we got a raptor for free since that was one of the coolest mounts in my opinion anyways. So I'm really happy with our setup at the moment. But we will eventually get the Jackal because the Jackal will be able to jump through those like portals there and be able to get around the world a little bit quicker. Same with like a flyer, but most of them aren't actually necessary. Now the kangaroo to jump up on the hills there. I'd say that one's necessary. All right, so we got an aberrant imp. We need to make sure all these guys die. Let's see, so we'll place some effects here on the ground, then just focus mostly on the rest of this stuff. All right, so this guy's dead. Sweet. Now this dude's still doing his little ritual thing. Close the portals to slow the enemies advance. Oh, is that what those portals were? All right, so let's see. I mean, honestly, they're not coming by that fast anyways. Hold on, we might want to walk around over here, though. Shaman's taking a little bit of damage here. Let's see if we can at least draw their attention away from the Shaman, we should be fine. Good news is a lot of our attacks, especially in like this Reaper form, we sort of attack like the entire area here, which means everybody next to us is going to be taking damage. So everybody's going to die at relatively the same time. All right, so hold on, so we'll leech some health, put a couple more things down on the ground. It looks like his ritual progress slowly goes down whenever he gets hit, but we should be fine. So we got plenty of health at the moment. 
Got a few negative effects coming down here. We are losing a little bit of health. Hold on. So let's swap over to this form. Let's see. So we've got Aberrant Wisp. I think these are the guys that are spawning most of the stuff on us. Yeah. All right. So that guy's dead. And there's a couple people down the way there. It looks like they're not actually joining in on us, though. All right. So let's see. So the Wisps is there. We've got this little crazy looking dog. This dude appears to have plenty of health, so I'm assuming he should be able to do this thing even while being attacked, which is a good news for us. Let's see. All right, so we ran out of juice there, but we should be able to place plenty of effects here on the ground. We don't want to necessarily give up half of our health just quite yet, so we'll wait to use that ability in case we actually need to do it. Most of them we don't actually have to sacrifice our health from, but there is one or two abilities that we do just for like negative effects on the enemies, but at the same time it does take away quite a bit from us. So we're going to mostly reserve that for like bigger fight areas. All right, so let's see your event succeeded. Nice. All right, so hold on. So we're going to exit this form, swap on our mount, and it looks like that dude got credit since he showed up at the last second. <laughs> he ran out of the village, just bolted out across the lake. I think Garm can take care of himself. Maybe. I'm going after it. Bram. Do not go out onto the lake. That's an order. I'll let you know what I find. Damn it! That looks super cool. Maybe I'd like walk on the water and have it like look all the way down like that. I like the way that looks. <laughs> all right, so hold on. So we are going to run up around this way. We're about um, roughly halfway through whatever we're trying to do right now. Looks like we need to help the polar bear people. We got another dude that seems to be doing the same thing with us. It looks like we're back to fishing. All right, so hold on. So the Arctic Tuna, are you supposed to actually kill the tuna? Hold on, I thought you were supposed to catch it. Maybe we were supposed to stop the tuna from getting to the water. We'll keep flopping on the ground. Oh, hold on. Does the fisherman catch the tuna then? Maybe you're supposed to pick up the tuna afterwards and then carry it to the table. I think that's what's actually happening here. Hold on. All right, your contribution. So you got 20 seconds. So hold on, we need to destroy this Quagan. Now, am I able to... Let's see, definitely want to make sure this tuna dies. All right, pick up the tuna. Place it on the table. All right, so hold on. So we got five seconds, four seconds, go. Bring the fish in. We got a contribution. Event failed. <laughs> we needed so much more tuna, but we actually did do one of those events, which is good news, which means we actually know how to do that. All right, so hold on. So we're going to run up the hill here because it seems like most people are focusing on certain things that we haven't necessarily been doing. So let's see. Let's run up the hill here and see what happens. We've just been going circle to circle. All right, so we've got a couple dogs around here. Looks like this is going to be another shaman thing where basically you just have to protect this dude just like last time. I won't let him in. Just do your thing, buddy. All right, so this guy actually has like a whole bunch of elementals and stuff. We immediately caught on fire because we walked inside that little pathway there. Let's see, so I'm wondering if the enemies can actually do that too. Being as an ice elemental, this dude should have like horrible time right next to the fire pits. All right, so that guy dies relatively quickly. And we're going to turn off this form that way we're not wasting all of our energy. You need a dragon. I do need a dragon. It'd be so convenient if that really big crystal dragon was like, oh, yeah, 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 I could be your mount. I feel like the game is working towards being a dragon, though. Like, especially with like everything that's going on, like with the storyline with the ice brood song and everything. The next part has to have dragons. It's like a proper mount. Not just the Drake, but an actual dragon and dragon. They have a drink now. Once again, I got super close to doing it for like the very first part. There's like 10 parts and then with Halloween and all these other games have been coming out. I kind of sidetracked on that. We will eventually get it, though. Plus, I need to free up space since <laughs> I do have like two very long videos that I still need to edit out to show like all the different locations for that. All right, so we are kind of chilly, it looks like, in this spot. This dude's going to be doing his little shaman thing. So there's a portal over here on the right side. I wonder if we can actually kill these portals before it gets too many enemies around here. Now, is the shaman able to protect himself while he's doing this thing? Because that'd be another thing worth finding out. All right, so the elemental dudes, it looks like these guys are... Are they actually attacking in this area? Hold on, we're going to walk over here real quick, buddy. You... All right, so we got another elemental. Hold on. We definitely want to try to free this dude up real quick. All right, so we need to punch the ice shard to actually break his out. So it looks like if you don't punch, you are going to freeze to death. 
Let's see, so let's run over here to this side and try to kill this dude as quick as possible here. All right, so his health is chunking away relatively quickly. Let's see, so we got another wolf around here. I don't think we have enough time just with by ourselves to actually run around and like close the portals and fight these ice elementals. We might be able to though. All right, so hold on, we're getting kind of low here. So let's try to place as many effects on the ground. Now, I'm going to assume this wolf probably has the least amount of health out of everything here, so we're just going to focus on this guy. Hopefully we have what it takes to actually revive ourselves, because we are taking quite a bit of damage. Thankfully, this shaman dude sort of acting as like a body shield completely on accident for us. He's not meaning to do it at all, but the enemy is sitting here splitting his attacks onto him, which is actually helping us out just a little bit. All right, so a couple more hits. Come on, buddy. You know you want to die. There we go. Sweet. Alright, so let's place a few more things down on the ground, swap to the Reaper form that we can do maximum damage here. Alright, there we go. Now we're starting to talk. So we got 11,000 health right now. So, I do really like this Reaper form, but I do like the fact that before we actually had the Reaper, in the very last second, it automatically would put us in this, like, extra lifesteal mobility mode. The fact that we can't do that anymore kind of stinks. But I'm, I guess I do kind of get it since this dude is a little bit stronger, or appears stronger at least. Let's see, so let's do you. I definitely think we do a lot more DPS, but it seems like the other way around, you're a little bit more of like a lifesteal ability versus now where we're mostly doing majority of like the damage to people. All right, so let's see. Shaman definitely is taking a lot more damage this time compared to the last area, but we should be able to prevail. So now that it's finally calmed down a little bit, we're going to try to take on this little troll around over here. See if maybe we can close up this portal here. The shaman is taking a little bit of damage though, so I don't know. As long as his health remains fine, we're just going to see if we can actually do this. <laughs> All right, so the portals, oh wow. We actually chunked the portal's health away. Let's see, so a couple more hits like that and we definitely should be fine. So right now there's only one portal up. I'm assuming as soon as this portal shuts down, they're probably going to open both up. We are completely frozen right now, so we need to break through that. So we got a troll around over on this side that we need to take care of. I'm assuming the troll didn't freeze us though. Last time was an ice elemental. All right, so if we run around over here to this side, this dude's taking a little bit of damage. May or may not have, you know, <laughs> been my fault. All right, so hold on. So if we do a whole bunch of like status effects down around over here. Yeah, he's so dead if we don't get to him. Am I stuck? Why? Am Oof, there we go. All right, so he was able to heal a little bit, it looks like. Why are we so frozen right now? What? Is that from the blizzard? All right, well, we might have a little bit of issues if this is like our full movement speed during this blizzard. Hopefully it like clears up here in a second. All right, so let's see. We're no longer going to be destroying portals though, because that did not seem to help out any at all. We're just going to stand over here next to the frontier and the enemy has a portal. I mean, the fact that we closed the one portal, though, I feel like that's probably going to be good enough for a little bit. Now, it looks like there is a lot more corrupted griffins and things like that now compared to the ice creatures, which means they are going to be able to fly over us and get to this dude, which is going to cause us a little bit of issues. All right, so hold on. So if we just keep these guys down, I know there's red circles and we're just sort of tanking the damage right now, but I feel like we should be able to hold off the majority of the things. All right, so we've got 11,000. So hold on. If we do a couple status effects right here on the ground, Swap over to this mode. So the Quake Guns are actually the dudes that you can actually get to help you. Hey, what's up, kittens? How you doing today? All right, so let's see. We got some more stuff done. We're doing the part two on Ice Brood Saga if you want to hop in. Did you get your character to this part? You said you were working on it last time. All right, so let's see here. Make sure we get all these guys wiped out and we should be good to go. All right, come on, Shaman. Do your little ritual thing a little bit quicker, please. <laughs> All right, so we need to break through this ice real quick. There we go. We are a little close on time here with the Shaman, but I feel like he should be fine. All right, so let's see. So we got a couple Quagans, we got a couple dogs. We did close one of the portals. I don't know if that was the best strategy or not, but it seemed like it definitely slowed them down for a little bit. So now this ending part, we are going to have the two portals here. I am going to have to just mostly protect him though, since I walked away last time. It seemed like he took majority of the damage. All right, so let's see here. Those guys died. Let me try to run all these little circles here. There we go. 
All right, so they got a couple ice elementals on this side. See if we can dodge this dude. We are moving super slow right now. There we go. Sweet. Back to being frozen. I'm automatically going to type in random things for some reason. All right, so the ritual is definitely going to get completed. That's a good sign, at least. Read the event description. What are you talking about? You just have to protect him, right? Codan fish loggers and protect Codan scouts from the call of Jormag's bombardments. This works too, I think. Oh, destroy the second portal? No, no, no. The, I mean, the portals kind of help, but you don't actually have to do the portals. Oh, come on. Well, <laughs> technically, you normally not have to do those second portals, but I was a little bit over in there in the end. All right, so let's see here. We need to go back and shot here. Do we have a spawn point next to any of them? There we go. Go back to Spirit Refuge. It looks like we're going to be running back and forth between the tree people. Let's see. We're just going to go to a new map because hopefully people are going to be doing it inside of our area here. Yeah, for those missions, all you had to do is run into the area and just try to fend off the horde against them attacking you didn't actually have to close the two barriers there obviously it would have helped you out a little bit but last time when i tried to close one of the portals the dude immediately lost all of his health and i'm pretty sure that's why we failed <laughs> first time around i did it it wasn't too bad now this fish thing we seem to be having some major issues with so we might try to leave the fish alone got this corrupted shard here was that part of the little green circles pretty sure it was hold on if we run outside of this area here I know the lodges is going to be a little bit of pain. It looks like we're going to be by ourselves this time, though, so we might try to skip this one and maybe do the fishing. I'm not sure what the easiest ones would be. Oh, there we go. We're going to go with these people. All right, so we got this little shaman here. Now we should definitely be able to close the portals, though. All right, so this time we got some veteran gigantic tree people. We're just going to swap over to our staff then, since it seems everybody else is going to be doing ranged. Come on, buddy. Let's see if we can actually do this. Yeah, we're, we're doing fine around here. Sweet. All right, so logger people destroy those guys relatively quickly. We've got a couple infantry people that we need to take care of, so let's do you. Let's see if we can actually draw them a little bit closer to us. Swap over to our melee weapon. Oh, uh, hold on. We might need to help. To well, I don't know. There's plenty of people there. They should be fine. We'll just kill these guys before it actually kills the polar bear people because that should help out doing the other quest line. I'm wondering if you can do two of these at the same time. We're sticking relatively in the same area though. So it looks like there's no portals in this area that's going to be open for this area since there's so many people doing it. So that's a good sign. All right, so let's see. All those guys are dead. And back around over to these guys, see if they need any help. So we got a couple people down this way. It looks like they're automatically running towards the people instead of the shaman. Oh, one dude did at least. Looks like we got a portal popped up right on top of us, so at least we don't have to search around for it. Swap over into the Reaper form and completely destroy the portal. Nice! Come on, buddy. Alright, so that closed off. The Shaman's still doing his thing. He's definitely taking a little bit longer. I'm wondering if the more people inside the area means the more enemies spawn from the portals, or how that's actually should be did. Because it was doable by yourself, but obviously it seems to be going a little bit quicker when you're in a group. Maybe it's just the enemies are spawning in slow enough when you're by yourself and it's not too bad. Alright, so let's see. So we'll put on the plague thing. Should at least curse our buddy in the area. Let's see, we're running around this group. We got the majority of the progress done, so it looks like we're out roughly 75%. Nobody's on the tree people yet, so maybe we can like sneak over here and do this stuff while they're in the area. Alright, hold on. So we got. Three people went this way, so we might be good. All right, so we got gather. So I'm gonna just go over here and speak to this little logger guy. Here you go, buddy. Yeah, we'll help. All right, so basically in this one, all we have to do is chop down the trees, smash some bushes, and then you should be good to go. You have eight minutes to do this. We've done it before and it wasn't too bad, honestly. All right, so let's see. Trees are going to slowly be taking some health down. Dude, these trees are actually pretty beefy. There we go. It's kind of funny. It seems like we do so much more damage with this other form here. 
yeah, it's super nice that they're actually sitting here giving us the opportunity to play all these episodes, though. I wasn't expecting to be able to finish, like, the Ice Boot Saga at all, which is the main reason why we skipped, like, part five, and then they're like, oh, yeah, 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 by the way, here's all the other parts. That's just a weird little spawner location. All right. So that's stuff we don't have to worry about. There's going to be some bushes around here that we need to get rid of, some trees. Let's see if we can do anything else around here. All right, so we got another bush up in the top left here. Looks like someone was able to take care of it. So we are mostly fighting these people, though. Is there any actual, like, bushes or something looking at? Because necessarily is not too helpful to the group to actually fight the big people. All right, so we got the bush done. Run around to the next area here. Looks like everybody is just working as a group to chop down the stuff. Let's see if we can actually help them out a little bit quicker. Come on, buddy. Yeah, nice. Alright, so let's come over to the next tree. We got a couple fallen soldiers just chasing us around. They don't necessarily hit too hard unless they're in like a huge pack, so we should be able to ignore these guys for the most part. Let's see here. They are slowly starting to pile up though, since everybody seems to be ignoring them. Alright, so we got another tree. Looks like this is a baby tree though, so I'm wondering what we're actually supposed to do with this thing. Oh. <laughs> that is super weird. Can you tell me it just rematerialized in front of us? Alright, so the forest looks like it's most of the way cleared out. So this should be the last event that we actually need to finish. Alright, so hold on. So we've got a plague here. Slap this on the ground. Now, it's kind of weird since you can do a plague and still hit things that are not actually real. But, for example, this game doesn't necessarily know that it's between a human being and like an organic being. What are you talking about? <laughs> see here so let's do that all right so what else do we need to clear so we got a couple bushes around this way up top here how many characters do you got kid have you played on the beta for the next dlc yet let's see so let's do that i did see that they're having another beta test on the november 30th to december 4th i believe so at the end of November, let me know if you want to try out the new DLC, because I think it's free to everybody. You just have to sign up for it in the little, like, beta characters or something. Alright, so let's see. Boom! If that's something you would want to do. Let's see here. I think the map pack comes out in February, so that should be the last beta test. Alright, so all that stuff's done. That dude looks super cool. I like that mount. All right, so hold on. We got a whole bunch of the random things around here. We got one tree to chop down on the left side. Is there any like bushes or anything we can do? So the bushes are going to be a little bit faster than the trees that I found. They might give like slightly less experience though. Nice. Are you serious? No, no, no. The game is completion. Nice. <laughs> Honestly, it did not just sit there and take away all of the credit and be like, no, nah, you need to do one more. All right, so now what? Javi, Commander? You find Garm? Garm and something else. We might have a way to stop your car. We're listening. Bram? Who's that? You should just come to me. Northwest corner of the lake. Old shrine. Can't miss it. That's right near your car. Yeah. We should bring back up. Just in case. No. If Bram is... We can't risk more people. Just you and me, Javi. I'll meet you there. Be ready. Alright, so let's see. Find Bram. Should be relatively simple. Did something happen to the stream? It's not super weird why I just, like, restarted there. Hold on. So let me make sure everything's live real quick. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know... Show's fine on my end? That's super weird. Did that to me yesterday too, so I don't know if it's something going on with OBS or what. Hopefully it's back to normal. I don't know why I would have restarted though. Alright, so we got a few things chasing us, a couple rabbits, all that crazy stuff around here. Ooh, we're just going to take so much damage. Oh, come on. <laughs> I said they're trying to get everything back to normal. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Is there just a bandage of fear? So we can at least do fear and make them run away. We're just going to kill ourselves, pull them back in. Sorry about it crashing. Hopefully that issue gets resolved relatively quickly. I have no clue what's causing it because everything on my end looked fine. 
I didn't look over there and just notice that the thing was like, oh yeah, yeah, he's now streaming. I was like, what? All right, so hold on. So we got that area blocked off. So we need to run down this way, head over to the left. This might be closer to him than what we were before anyway. So might be something good for us. All right, now, did he run down the hill? Is that where it's telling us to go? Yeah, it looks like we need to come down here and pass all these crazy little ice worms. We're just going to hop past them. They seem to be a little bit slower than the rest of the things that we've come across so far, which means you can just like hop past them and not worry about them too much. All right, so let's see, boom. Perfect. All right, so let's see here. Run around to the backside here. Champions of the Ice Dragon. All right, so there's the regular wolf here. Looks like Bram and everybody else that we need to meet with is at the very top. What's going on? I, uh, I'm sorry. I just, I've been hearing. He just needs to explain. Bram, listen to me. Whatever's been talking to you, it's not what you think. By the wolf spirit. I brought them, Great Wolf. Sister, Sister Bear has told us many stories of your deeds. Your strength is legendary among Norn. You have brought much honor to Bear, to, to all of us. You honor me with your words, wolf spirit. Now, you are all wondering why I've called for you. He has a plan to stop Drakkar using the lost spirits of the wild. Sorry, you probably wanted to say that, but Cloudseeker was certain. The Coded ignore our voices. We cannot speak to Ox, Eagle, or Wolverine, but Bram can. Why me? You crack the fang of the serpent. Fate now decrees you will either slay Jormag or fall to Jormag. All spirits know this. Even when taken and corrupted, you must go to their shrines, demand their power. Demand? Will they even listen to me? No. You'll have to make them. You are a Norn of prophecy, but you are not yet true Norn. And any can wear the wolf. But only true Norn can, can become the wolf. You're saying if I do this, I'll be able to become the wolf? Take the lost spirit's power. Use it against Drakkar. Only then will you find a place for my spirit within your own. Wait! Damn it. Wolf trusts you. He believes you can do this. And so do I. Yeah. Okay. Commander, I'll meet you at those shrines. And I'll be ready. I know you will. Javi, can you and the Coden put the pressure on Jakar? Keep its eyes off us. It would be my pleasure. Nice! <laughs> I was pretty sure that we could turn into the wolf, but I was kind of like skeptical about it since he's like, only a few of us can. Nope, we we're 100% good to go. All right, so hold on. So we're going to do this, deposit all the fun stuff, open up our box, which we can't do since we're still full on inventory space. So let's see here. Is there anything that we can actually... Nope. Lost the pistol. We don't need you. Boom. Open you up. And up. let's see here. What is we actually get? Charge core. We can deposit that. Dust. We can get rid of that for the time being since we're still not high enough level. I think it's like 40 something on the tailoring. So we are slowly working towards that. Now help Ram cleanse the Wolverine Shrine, help cleanse the Eagle Shrine, help Ram cleanse the Ox Shrine. Alright, so let's see. So let's just hop around over across these guys. Now then. So we're going to have to go up and around, right? Raven Rock. See, can I just like interact with you? Okay, so that goes medium chest of valor. Chest protected as an oh. Okay, so we don't actually have the way to open that. Now, I'm wondering, is this like the way around across that, or are we just supposed to go back up top? Yeah, well, we got that we can't open up the chest, but I'm really curious to see if we can actually like do like a shortcut to get to this next area, or if we have to go back around. So it looks like there was another shrine entrance like right behind us there, so I'm kind of hoping that we can just like go through. The whispers are quiet for now. Oh, I'm wondering if it's because we're doing this quest line here that we don't hear the whispers inside the area. Remember last time we were like a whole bunch of like crazy little whispers were going on and everything? All right, 
guys, hold on. So we need to do everything we can to kill these guys. We got the griffin that we're putting down here. Mental's down. Now the chest, we can't open you, but can we walk past you and do you? Yeah, we're not, we're not trying to do the chest, but can we do the Ravenlock? All right, well, it looks like that doesn't work. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have to run back around, right? Looks like there's a way this way that we might be able to get up to the next shrine here. So Bram's found on this floor. Maybe the shrines are not inside of the same rooms. There's a pathway this way, and maybe this is going to lead us to the right area here. So we're going to run up here and just like try to explore around some, see if we maybe bump into something. Looks like there's three different indicators on the map and there's another one like way out here. So we might be heading towards the one on the way outside first. All right, so let's see here. Or maybe just the one straight ahead because it looks like we're probably going to be bumping into that one first and then we can come back for that guy. Since I'm assuming we're probably going to be having to speak to Bram at the very end anyway, so we might as well do the one closest to him last. All right, so let's see. That dude's got a cool Halloween title there. We haven't actually earned any like titles yet. So we have been getting quite a few of the daily chests and everything. So basically every two hours, all you have to do is like log in and do some random Simon Says thing and then you're good to go. All right, so hold on. Looks like we're going to have to come all the way up to the very top of this hill here. Now there is somewhat flyers inside this game, but I did notice doing like the sky skill stuff. They really teach you that it's not necessarily flying. It's mostly just colliding. Transform you for a short time. Use it to move those All right, so fallen primal. Let's see. Wait, what now? Use the ox priest talisman to drag the offerings to the shrine. Okay. Do I just speak with you? We're going to light the brazier here and see what actually happens. So hold on. So we got that. I didn't necessarily turn us into event succeeded. Cool. <laughs> we will take that. All right, nice. What is this puny thing that dares approach? I am Bram Harrison, Nord of Prophecy. It was me who cracked the fang of the serpent. You did not crack the fang. Your mother's bow fired the arrow, aided by Jotun magic. It was my hand that shot the arrow. My hand, constantly held by Erster Galkin and your precious commander. What, what strength you have was given to you by others. Inside, you have nothing. The only, the only way we slay Drakkar is together. We, we, we share our strength, or we die. What happened to you? You, you hoard your power, but still serve another. Would you, would you doom the Nord to the same fate? <laughs> Very well, Bram Harrison. May, may, may my strength guide you to the victory I once sought. Slay Drakkar. Challenge Jormag. Those of us that remain will watch and wait. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Obviously, we sort of accidentally bumped into this group doing it, but that was kind of cool. At least we got to hear the dialogue and no one actually skipped it. That's the main thing. All right, so we got the Ox Shrine fully finished. Looks like we are just having to head down this way to the... I'm assuming this is probably going to be Eagle Shrine since it seems like it's going to be up on the peak here. Let's see, so we got us a Raven Lock thing that we can actually do to track down the area a little bit. We should be able to run past these guys, though. We're still on Vanguard's trail. He's got some distance on us. You said you were close before. What's going on? My thought exactly. I don't we like this calm Wolverine's We pick up the pace, spirit. they pick up the Please, pace. Take whatever oh. offerings you can to his shrine. Might have caught our scent on the wind. No, it's blowing the wrong way. Something else is going on. Keep me posted. All right, so we need to figure out where the Raven totem, or Wolverine totem is, rather. All right, so hold on. we're going to kill through all these enemies real quick. So we got some mushrooms and everything. I'm assuming we're probably going to be having to go through that entire group of enemies there before we're actually able to deliver that stuff. All right, so we got that dude dead. So there is some stuff down this way. And dying bone skinner. So our health still seems to be doing fine. Is the Wolverine stuff really through that stuff? Though? Hold on. 
barrier shrine. So let's try to interact with you. That'll be for the cold at least. All right, so let's see. I'm assuming we're going to have to kill these dudes. A and the Wolverine thing must be somewhere around here. So the toxic mushrooms that we can't actually have anything to go with. Maybe only like the very. So I teleport this Brack. <laughs> that didn't necessarily do anything. Hold on. So we got some more people around this way. Maybe we're about to get some help here. All right, so we can't get seen by those people. So we got another Ravenlock thing. So hold on. What if we bring this and like run around this right side here? All right, hold on. Whoa. That many maps, nothing. So it looks like we need to get to like the main heart, of the center. So we just need to figure out a pathway to where it's not going to get hit. So we must have to run directly through this and do like a puzzle, dodging the spores and the wolves along the way. Looks like we're fine for now, so we're going to be following this dude. We don't want to accidentally get stepped on any mushrooms or anything, so hold on. Is this dude going to target us, or is he going to turn around here in a second? Let's see, so we backed away in a corner as far as we can go. There's a mushroom popping up right next to us, but I think we're fine. Let's see, so these dudes sort of walk past us. They don't seem to actually target us as long as we don't move. Yeah, so he's going to be walking through his way. We still got the food, so we're doing good in that regard. Hold on. Darkness overtakes you. All right, so let's try this again. All right, so we just like follow behind this dude. There has to be like a pathway to the right here that we're missing. There's a light. We take the food over to that little lamp, and I don't think that it's going to teleport us across since that's exactly like the light. And so hold on, we, we might actually be starting to figure something out here. <laughs> so he's going to be turning around here because that is like a little bit of a white circle there. And it's kind of funny, you know, since we got like a whole thing that makes us darker and everything on our character. But I feel like if we come around over this way, we just need to wait for this dude to, you know, move a little bit faster. That way we can get inside the light. We're fully protected. All right, now, is that going to supercharge us or what's actually about to happen here? Too loud for my taste. Let's get started. Is he going to run past us and leave us alone? I think he's fine and see how there's another lantern down that way. So we need to wait for this red line to pass us, dodge all these mushrooms and go over to the next lamp. We're going to do the same thing around over on this side. So we saw there was one through the tree. All right, so we need to wait for this dude to turn around and we're going to run directly forward and then to the right, I believe, is what the next path thing is. So now this dude is going to run to us. We got lights. We're not worried about you, fool. All right, so that mushroom went down. It looks like this is going to be a little bit more of like a luck and time thing. Pretty sure there was something like right on that other side, though. So we are going to wait and see. Looks like this dude's kind of slow and he might walk around quite a bit here. So this one's slowly walking towards us. We got some mushrooms falling right in front of us. So let's see, are we actually able to time it with you? Yeah. Let's see, so he's going to be running across here. We got us another light right next to the Wolverine Shrine Suite. All we got to do is walk right inside. I wonder if last time when we turned the light on, if that actually counted for finishing it. All right, so hold on. So we'll stand here, get cleansed a little bit. To you. You hear a voice in your head, ignore it. Remember that the ice dragon speaks through your car. Your thoughts may not be your own. Why don't you just teleport me across? Yeah, I'm so scared of you. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Looks like he takes us directly to the food. That's exactly what we wanted. Let's see, so we need to dodge these things. Are we able just to wrong side? So we, <laughs> we need to run back to the front. Let's see here. So obviously, if you had like six people doing it that knew what they were doing, you could probably knock this quest out relatively simple. Looks like there's lights going to be on both sides here. It was just we were mistaken last time. So that's good to know, at least. So wait for this dude to go. We're going to show both ways here. It looks like it's going to take several offerings. That barely moved anything at all. All right, so this dude's walking through here. I'm not necessarily seeing any lights, though, is the problem on this side. We're going to pass. We're good to go. Maybe this means that this side has a little bit less enemies to deal with, though. So we got some mushrooms here. This dude is going to be walking towards us. We need to just run over here to the light. Nice. That actually worked out. 
All right, now on the map itself, it looks like it, this area here should be open. So if we follow this dude over to that next light path, I'm pretty sure that's where we were where we deposited it. But it looks like if we stick to the right here. It looks like there might be another entrance. All right, so hold on. We got this little tree here. We got the backside here. Nice. And it looks like there's a person here to help us out. So sweet. Great spirit isn't rejecting your offerings. There we go. All right, so we're about halfway done now. We're just going to run across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're so scared of you, buddy. Just teleport us around to the food, please. Good news is, I'm pretty sure it's not affecting anything. <laughs> if it is, we might be messing up a little bit. But that wasn't too bad at all. Now, if you guys are wondering which side's faster, right or left, I feel like the right might be like slightly faster. I could be wrong, but it just seems like we got a little bit more lucky. So we don't want to accidentally get step on any of these mushrooms here. This is really happening. There we go. So that one went down. We need to wait for you. Get over here to the light. Get some power up and around here. So you are sheltered from the bone skinner's eyes and cleared of encroaching darkness. So basically, you're just trying to keep up a little bit of like a light inside of the area here. Come on, buddy. That's right. You know, you want to walk on over to the next area. All right. So these guys are quite slow. So let's see. So we'll run around here to the... Um, what? Does the maze change every single time or something? Because last time there was like a gigantic hole here and we just sort of ran directly through. All right, well, that's interesting. Let's see, so we're going to need to run back around. So maybe it does change every single time you do pause it. So we got the mushrooms dead there. Where's the light? Light source on the right side. Ooh. <laughs> that was kind of close, but we're good. That's right, moving along there. Nothing to see here. Nice hidden, not worrying about a thing. So let's see, so let's walk. Accidentally got hit by the toxic spores. Should we just run through it? Yep, I'm gonna just run for it. I don't think he can actually hit us. Yeah, yeah. I'm dying terror. We're going to spawn back at the top there. Get fired. And at least we can actually follow this dude this time. For the toxic spores to fully expire before we run through here. I feel like. Oh, we need to go to the left side, right? So the other side was blocked off last time. So we're just going to assume that it was blocked off again. So we ran directly to the light. Now then, it does show like a little bit of like a maze around here, so I'm wondering. Hold on, is that the actual answer key every single time? So it looks like this way is blocked off or this side. Or we don't explore. Because <laughs> it looks like this way is blocked, but it, no, 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 we're good. All right, so we're waiting for this dude to pass us. We seem to be good with the darkness and everything, so we'll run over here to the light to get topped off a little bit. There we go. Now we'll just run over here to the offering. Should be able to put this bad boy down on the ground. Just a few more offerings. And now it looks like we just need one more. She said a few more, but I'm assuming one more should do it. Hey, buddy, teleport us back to the other side, please. Good news is it doesn't seem to spawn in like a load screen or like take you too far. So that's why we're just doing that. All right. And this dude's running behind again. So we're just going to follow him through. Left side, I seem to, for some reason, figure out a way to get around this maze a lot quicker. So we're just going to stick with the left. I thought the right would take us there a little bit faster, but I don't know what pathway I took the first time to actually do it. But it seems like the left's a little bit easier. All right, so we do have a toxic frost cap right here in front of us. We're going to wait for that to go down. This little skitter dude is moving super slow, but eventually we're going to be able to do an offering to the Wolverine. And then all we'll have left is the eagle. All right, so let's see here. So we've got some mushrooms here. We're going to run in between. Now, last time this dog was a little bit further up. Hopefully we're not going to be sitting here and get taken into the darkness. Let's see. Waiting for him to move along. So encroaching darkness, blah, blah, blah. Looks like neither one of them actually tell you how long the encroaching darkness is. It's just a matter of basically looking at your screen here. All right, so we're good there. We don't want to step on that toxic mushroom that tried to mess us up at the very end. I'm around over here to the offering. Time remaining 25. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Can I light you? Lighting fire. All right, so we lit the fires, but it looks like we might be out of time. All right, so we've got a balancing mushroom we need to run across here. Are we really about to feel this? Oh, man. All right, so we can't go that way. Ah. Uh, 
one sec, what happens if we don't finish it? I didn't succeed it. Wait, what now? You are the one who would stand against the Ice Dragon's champion. I am Bram Erson. And I will do more than stand against it. I'll slay it. Yet, yet, yet you struggle to stand before even me. I, I, I can see your spirit. Your, your valor. What, what, what little you possess. You're calling me a coward? You, you will never slay Drakkar, because you fight only for yourself. There is no courage in you. Only selfishness. I, I, I fight with the commander now. Ridlock, Krisha, Javi, all the others. You, you fight for them, but, but, but not with them. You, you wish to fulfill prophecy to impress. To, to, to prove out, out of fear. No, 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 what? You're right. I, I, I do want to prove myself. I want to earn my legend. You say it's weakness to doubt. But that doubt makes me want to be stronger. Because I know I can be better. Very well, Graham Erson. May my valor guide you to the victory I once sought. Slay Drakkar. Challenge Jormak. Those of us that remain will watch and, and, and wait. Now, not to break the lore or anything, but the fact that we're doing these challenges instead of him, because it I haven't seen him actually help us with like a single one of these. Doesn't that mean we're the ones who are worthy of the shrine and not Bram? Which is kind of weird. All right, so hold on. It looks like there's something we're supposed to be speaking around this way. So maybe this is like the area here. Looks like for another two minutes, you have basically time to get outside of the maze. So we're going to run around now. Better speak to you. Just one more and we'll be ready to take it to Drakkar. Wolverine fallen so far. He's so different than the stories made him out to be, but he was still right. Right about what? Wanted to prove I was better than you. Would have done anything. I'd say you succeeded more than once. You were patient, I'll say that. I needed time. Need All right, so hold on. So we're going to run around here. He's just going to talk about a whole bunch of nonsense because I, uh, <laughs> I feel like we technically earned it more than him. But we're just going to roll with it. All right, so hold on. So we want to swap over to the Springer Mountain just in case, because it looks like there's going to be like a mastery point or something down below us. See, so we'll hop down here. So there's a Norn chest. I didn't realize Bram was anybody of significance. I thought it was just the regular person who followed us. Spent too much time listening to Bangar. Commander's not like that, Cree. A good strategist knows that sometimes you need to accept collateral damage to get what you want. <laughs> I know the commander is your friend. But you better hope Lylan doesn't get in the way. Yeah. Better hurry. She's only gonna get worse. Alright, so hold on. So we're going to run past all this stuff. We finished all this code of stuff earlier, so we don't have to do it anymore. The trial of Primer's additional objective that can appear with certain events. If completed a trial event and succeeded, we'll... alright, so let's see. We'll just get out right up here. And try to focus on like the main storyline here, especially since this is a little bit of older content, but it is free for everybody right now, so that's Main reason why we're focusing on this stuff. But uh, hopefully we are running in the right direction here. Yeah, so it looks like we're going to have to come around. Now, once again, the Raven, I'm assuming last time we never actually went up. Somewhere around here, we're going to have to go up. We might have found out to where. Uh -oh, let's see. So we got all this water pit and stuff. It's, it's somewhere. Hold on. We're going to light this fire because it seems like every single time we do, we get a little bit of extra points here. So we'll, <laughs> we'll just do that. All right. Now there's a dash line there. So there was an entrance there that we sort of skimmed across. Would, would you leave me alone here, woof? All right. So we'll kill these guys real quick and see what we can actually find out inside of this area here. All right. So all it says is help Bram clear the shrine. It doesn't necessarily tell us where the shrine is or anything. Oh, man. There's an archer and everything going down there. Are we able to... I don't think we can scale that even if we wanted to. There's no way. 
Alright, so that means we're going to have to find an alternate route. Wait for the wolves. Uh, yeah, yeah, the archer turned around, so all we gotta do is take out this wolf here. We'll be good to go. Spawn our mounts back in here. Does this dude seriously attack us as soon as his wolf starts? <laughs> yeah, he did. What? <laughs> Alright, so we're not able to spawn in our mounts because this dude's attacking us. Let's see, are we able to at least leech your health? All right, so it took us two of them. We got a corrupted griffin around here. We got us a veteran hunter. I'm not entirely sure which one's actually going to give us more health here. So we're just going to do the griffin. Hopefully this guy is actually, you know, it's a hunter trying to kill us, dude. Of course, you'd want to claim the glory for yourself. I mean, when have you seen a movie where a trial is about something as significant as, you know, saving the world and the person not doing the trial is the one who gets the reward? <laughs> That just seems so backwards to me. All right, so we, we died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully this at least puts us on the right path, because clearly we took the wrong path last time. All right, so let's see. So we'll run back across through here. Now then, let's see. Maybe we'll just cut through the... No, no, it's got to be up. I'll take this left path here. I think last time we went like right through the middle there and went the wrong way. So let's come this way. Looks like there's some frostiness on this side, and this is definitely going to be for the eagle. We should be good to go now. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fill in the rest of the map. There we go. New die was going to fix it. New character or different outfits? Uh, different outfits. Same character. <laughs> this is all from the Halloween event and stuff going on. We must cleanse this shrine, slay Jormag's servants, and offer their essence to Eagle. Okay, so hold on. So, boom, did you end up getting Call of Duty Elite? All right, so hold on. We're going to kill these areas here. It's not necessarily part of the event, but unfortunately, we're going to have to kill these guys. So, efforts are underway to cleanse the Eagle Shrine. It looks like there's no timer on this one. Last time, we were kind of tight on time, but we still eventually did it. Let's see, so this Muller is going to die out here in a second. All right, come on, buddy. You know, you won't die on us, Willis. There we go. All right, so we got you taken care of. We got one more guy over here in the back. Yeah, so basically every now and then they'll sit here and give you like a live world event quest for free. Then you're able to take plenty of opportunity to do these. All right, so we got a corrupted griffin. Couldn't we just, you know, swap over to like a range attack and pull them across? Out of range, so we've got tornadoes that we need to deal with. Offer the life essence of your enemies to the shrine. Yeah, that definitely worked out. Sweet! How on earth would you do this quest as a... I guess all melee characters have to have, like, a, some sort of range. Alright, so hold on. All we gotta do is take out a few of these guys, then swap over to our melee weapon. So we have the corrupted griffin that we need to kill. Looks like quite a few of them are actually starting to spawn on our side, then. So that didn't actually count towards cleansing the Eagle Shrine, though. So we've got to figure something else here, then. Last time was relatively simple. All you had to do was pick up the food and deliver it. All right, so maybe if you, like, run inside of here with the tornadoes? Let's see, so we've got the wind here that's going to push us around. We did pick up two of them, but what happens if we, like, run inside of here? All right, so there's going to be an opening there, and there's a little bit of gusting that we need to try to figure out. Let's see, so it's going to burst every couple seconds here, but we did manage to run inside of here. It's going to blow us back a little bit, but there was a wall protecting us. Come on, wind. All right, now let's see. Am I able to, like, jump across here? Theoretically, we should be able to, like, walk up behind this guy, right? Offer collected. Boom. Oh, that actually worked. Nice. <laughs> that was a total guess. Obviously, you can pick up the enemies, which makes sense, you know, to try to fill up the shrine. But I think it would be literally as easy just walking all the way to it. Not yet. Broke my tooth again, so I had to get that fixed. So tomorrow I'll get it. Oh, why don't you break your tooth again? All right, so let's see. We're going to go and light the fire here. Sorry you're having such bad luck lately with your whole leg, tooth, and everything like that. So you back to not going to work tomorrow, Elite, or what's the deal with that? All right, so it does look like we can get to the middle area. However, we're going to need to kill quite a bit more of these guys. So we're just going to run around here and try to target as much as possible here. Looks like the tornadoes don't actually kill us. They're just mostly for, like, slowing us down. So as long as we can, like, grow the aggro of everybody, we should be good to go. 
right, so let's see. So we'll kill both of these guys, pick up their bodies, deliver them back to the eagle. Now, I feel like a griffin has to fill up an eagle. <laughs> so I'm wondering how many that you actually need to kill. Last time it was, what, four, maybe five pieces of food for the wolverine to be satisfied? All right, so we are slowly getting pushed away from the main center area, but the fact that we somewhat figured out how to do it, we should be fine. All right, so we are a little bit low on health here, so hold on, we need to... Do some of these extra abilities here, so fight to survive for being pushed around with the current. <laughs> All right, nice. So that guy's dead. We need to pick up a few more of these guys here. All right, so hold on. We got tornadoes rolling in here, and these guys are probably chunking away our health too. All right, come on. So tornadoes are coming on the left side and the right side that we are slowly trying to figure out here. So there was a skin. I don't know when it actually stops being sold, though, that you could get if you pre-order at a certain date. All right, so we need to just get out of the skin, get pushed around. See if we can, like, exit the tornado. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we're exiting. Wait for these guys to fight, and then we should be good. All right, so we need to clear out this area here. I cooked a hot pocket in the oven and I overcooked it a bit too much, but tried to eat it anyways and it broke part of my tooth. What? So you're telling me a hot pocket <laughs> broke your tooth? What are the odds of a hot pocket? I don't know if you've ever like frozen like hard candies or not. I think my father had the same issue or he was like he almost broke a tooth. This was a long time ago, but it was I don't know if you remember them, but like the jawbreakers, there was one of them in the freezer or something. He ended up biting into one and I guess it almost broke his tooth or something like that. But I can't believe a hot pocket. I would not expect that. And so we are getting pushed out quite a bit here. So how did we actually manage to do it last time? Let's see, so we're going to do this. So every now and then we have a gust of wind. So if we can try to attract all the enemies to us while we're running across here, we should be fine. So hold on, swap over to you. That or maybe your strategy of luring everybody out to the other side was actually the right strategy because you could actually grab the bodies to pick them up so much easier. All right, so we got knocked down, but there's not a single thing around over here to actually absorb the health of. This hunter, dude, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's just so much things going on here. All right, so the veds are chasing. We can't actually do that. So we need to figure out a way to like attract the enemies over to us. We're just going, I guess it's going to automatically do its thing here. There we go. We'll just let them kill us off. I don't know, it depends on what my insurance will pay, but maybe. Oh, the gold tooth thing? <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. All right, let's see here. Where's the nearest spawn? Looks like all the way over here. Boom. So the eagle definitely seems to be the hardest one. The wolverine, it took a little bit of figuring out the eagle, though. I gotta figure out a way to time it with the wind. Unless we do it from the outside. I feel like it's kind of cheaty doing it on the outside though, but we turned in what, two so far and it didn't do too much to it. So I feel like that's gotta be like the right strategy. Just obviously we ran in there to test it out. We did get to the center though. So we know that part works. Let's see here. Yeah, so what time's your dentist, Lily? Are you going to work tomorrow or what actually happened with that? And speaking of work, how's work without a cane? I don't know if I want me opening their car doors with a golden tooth and all. <laughs> we gotta wear an eye patch with it. Just say something happened with your eye, so you had to wear both. We must cleanse this shrine and oh. Someone actually here to help me. Nice. Alright, so we're, we're gonna take the nice, cheap, easy way. So, can I get your attention, buddy? There we go. Bring him around over here to this side. Nice and easy. That way we can kill him. All right, so this dude definitely <laughs> finished out a couple of these guys. So I'm wondering how he's actually... Oh, he's using a mount just to, like run inside of there. I guess that technically would work too. All right, so let's do you, pick you up. Now I'm wondering... So the skimmers might be immune to this kind of... Nope. It immediately gets kicked off. Never mind. All right, so we got a couple of corrupted griffins around over here. Let's see if I can get to him though. That way at least have two people killing them. All right, so let's see. So we'll swap around over to this way. Yeah, sweet. Basically, all these guys should be enough to fill out this area when we're kind of close to the middle here. 
All right, so hold on. We'll do this. Boom. Make sure all these guys are dead. Now, we are going to run into an issue where we still need to pick up the bodies, which is where we were having some issues with last time since we get pushed back. But I think we actually got most. All right, roll high junk. We don't want that. All right, so hold on. So we need to run all the way back around here. I think we got majority of the food here. So let's do this. Did that finish it off? That was pretty close here, so hold on. We got all the brazers lighted. Last time there was a whole countdown thing and it basically finished for us, so hold on. Is this dude doing something extra? I'm pretty sure it says 20 seconds you're going to finish. That's what it did last time, but we got our check mark. I'm going to just roll with it. Because it looks like he is somewhat depositing, unless he's just standing in the same area here. All right, so hold on. Zero. Boom. And succeeded. You are unworthy in every respect. I, I, I cracked the fang of the serpent. You, you, you will give me an audience. Very, very well, Air Son. Speak, speak, speak to me of plans and strategy. You, you killed Drakkar. What, what, what next? I'm back to work like normal life now. Stop Jormag from That's good. Glad that you're able to stand on two feet and not have issues. I asked for strategy. How will killing Drakkar accomplish that? If, if, if Jormag speaks through Drakkar, then we have to shut it up. Free, free the Char from the Dragon's grip. No, no vision. No, no foresight. You, you, you trust your commander to mind the details. You stumble, oh, oh, hoping your betters will catch you. The, the eagle I know understands that every plan's a risk. And failure's not always failure. If you, if you take your mistakes and learn from them, you have the foresight to lead. That, that's the only vision that matters. And deep down, in a part of you that isn't corrupted, you, you know that too. Perhaps so. Very, very well, Air Son. May, may, may my vision guide you to the victory I once sought. Slay, Slay Drakkar. Challenge Jormag. Those of us that remain will watch and, and wait. Nice! Another shrine finished. See, you could have taken advantage of all these disasters by the time you could have already had a pig legging and a gold tooth. Then all you need would an eye issue was for an eye patch. <laughs> Alright, so let's see here. So we're going to open up the chest here. So we got us a piece of unconfined gear and a scrap of ice. Mastery. All right, so let's see here. So all we got to do is check in with Bram at the Eagle Shrine. Did we skip past that one on the Wolf Shrine or did, or, um, Badger? No. What was the first one we did? Wolf? Bear. Did we skip that one at the Bear Shrine? All three lost spirits. Air would be proud. You ready for Jakar? What do I need to do? Head to Stillwater speaking. Cloudseeker has some ideas. All right, meet you there, Commander. Wait, another area complete. All right, we're going to get a whole bunch of stuff. It's going to save my inventory, fool. Tracks are fresher here. The snow hasn't filled them in yet. Just focus on your car. If you don't stop those whispers, Riley. Enough, Brimstone! Bangor should be our focus. The future of the Tar should be our focus. Signal's pretty bad in these mountains. Might lose you for a bit, Commander. Talk later. Clearly, you've never been to any town with Ocean Elite. <laughs> There's pirate festivals all over the town. You could easily sit here and do a pirate ship. Have you ever been to an actual pirate fest? It's actually a thing. The chill of the wind. Go now and cleanse Eagle Shrine. Eagle's whoa, whoa, whoa. I already did the Eagle Shrine. And and accept words. Our offerings. Just hey, you guys, my people were talking here. Just for a little bit, she gave me her power and some choice of words. Test me like a wolf, she said. Sounds like you passed the test. To make me doubt myself. But I know who I am. Who I was. Who I've become. It was hard seeing the eagle like that, but even after everything, she still gave me her power. And you were able to speak to her. For a little bit. What did it accidentally do twice? Some choice words. Me. All right, back away. <laughs> We're good. All right, so return to still waters. Speaking, finalize the plan with the Cloud Seeker. 
All right, so we'll hold on. We're going to swap off of that mount, swap over to the Raptor, since it seems to be the fastest mount in the game, besides the Roller Beetle downhill. All right, so hold on. So we'll jump across here. No, we don't have pirates in these parts. Have you actually checked it out, Elite? I've been to like three states so far, and they all had pirates. They were, well, they're also on the south. <laughs> what? I mean, you're still the east coast. You sure you don't have any pirate festivals there? Like, they actually sit there and get, like, the old-school pirate ships and actually roll into town, and they let people, like, tour them and everything. All right, so hold on. Return to Stillwaters. Oh, am I above them right now? See, Raptor, this is going to hurt you more than it hurts me, but we're just going to have to roll with it. Here we go. Nice. Nailed it. My people saw nothing. You asked them for their power? It was a little more complicated than that then you may actually have a chance against your car. Let's not waste it. What do you think, Javi? Brem and I could join you on your next attack. Jakar draws strength from its master. These mountains are filled with Jomax profane idols. So even if I hit it with the spirit's power, Jakar will just heal again when it gets near one. Yes, and it moves through solid ice like water. You must cut it off from the idols and lure it into the open. I'm no expert on magic or anything, but couldn't we just smash the Dromag idols? Smash them. Yes. Yes. While Javi leads another attack, pushes Drakkar away from the lake. There is a cavern to the south I can recommend. Less ice, more rock. You could trap it there. Understood. We'll go after the idols and keep the pressure on Drakkar. When it's weak enough, we corner it under the mountains and finish the job. Then may Koda and the spirits of the wild guide us to victory. Let us begin. Let's see here. No, we don't have pirates in these parts. We have safe waters around here. We have Intrepid, which is a military ship. You get a job as a pirate at a kid's birthday parties. Sounds like my personal idea of fun. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. We can jack our by destroying the idols of Jormog or Age of here in his attack. Now, I'm assuming that's going to be a world event thing, so maybe we'll get lucky and be able to just, you know, like, walk in with somebody and do it with them. So it looks like this is going to be another bit of the grindy part. Good news is this time is the first time that we haven't had, like, any issues doing the Ice Brood Saga. Last time we got stuck in some areas. This time it seemed a little bit straightforward. It was kind of complex, but it wasn't too bad. All right, so these people are doing this thing. So we got a portal here that we need to stay here and destroy. Our dark energy completely was empty. There we go. Now we're starting to get some stuff back up. So we're not able to hit those guys when they swap to the other form there. We technically don't have enough mastery for the Ice Brood Saga yet to do some of this stuff. But we're just sort of going to brute force it. All right. So let's see here. All that stuff died. So we've got to imp up here. So all we got to do is weaken the stuff. So I'm guessing this thing over here in the middle is what we're trying to get through. Yeah, I'm not going to read it out on stream. <laughs> <laughs> see here so let's do that boom i try not to say those words on stream at least been succeeded nice oh right, so we stopped the ceremony thankfully we just sort of you know hopped in with this dude got a little bit of credit <laughs> see so we'll be able to do that boom looks like there's a couple more people here and dude sort of left us with all the little enemies here but we didn't hop in at the very end so it's not too bad i don't love jordan mog what do I have to do with you? Commander. Vanguard and Ryland. Ridlock. Kreisha. Can you hear me? I'm losing you. Oh, is that it? Did I just have to, like, knock some ice off? All right, so we are sitting here being followed by this. There we go. I to say, this is a very nice little light orb here. All right, so hold on. Are we able to? So that's kind of far. So we got to one kind of in front of us. We're going to go for the one in front of us then. All right, so let's see here. If we're going to, like, jump up around this way. Oh, so close. Hold on. See, swap over to wrong button. Swap to the kangaroo. Oh, man. <laughs> Not enough space. There we go, buddy. All right, so let's do that. I think Volcano wants you to get your leg chopped off, Elite. I don't know. I'm getting some suspicious feelings there. All right, so hold on. Let's do this. You want me to walk around with one leg? I mean, technically, you'd have one and a half. <laughs> what did I just walk into? What? Oh, we're good. 
All right, nice. Let's see, so we'll pull off our mount, swap back over to the raptor, run across this little lake here. Now then. Looks like there might be stuff across from us. We do have the wingsuit, technically, since we did part of it last time. Hopefully this whole defend blah 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 thing is going to be the thing in front of us, not the thing to the right, and there should be people in this next area here. We are a little bit past the halfway mark since we found two of those idols, though, so we're making decent progress. Defeat the servants of Jermog. Oh, nice. Run, you little raptor. Get over to it. Got more people doing this stuff, so that's even better for us. All right, so we got a little bit of these little punks here that we need to take care of. Bring them all to us. Do some abilities here. All right, so we got some ice hammer guys. Yeah, it's pretty cool. These like so many different kinds of enemies inside this game, though. I like that. All right, so these guys are just trying to attack the main shrine area here. It looks like this boss is going to pop out in the middle here. All right, so let's do you. Summon enemies remaining, only one. All right, so there we go. Now we got a big dude. <laughs> Once this guy gets cleared out, though, I'm wondering if this is going to get us a majority of the way there or not. Is that enough for credit? Looks like it. We're cornering Drakkar in a cave south of the lake. Let's try to finish it off before Bangar shows up. We'll meet you inside. Yes, yeah, so you sit there and watch what kind of stuff that you get, like fairs and stuff, Elite. So I don't know how they've managed to acquire it, <laughs> but apparently they actually make cotton candy with protein in it, which is kind of weird since, you know, it's supposed to be sugar. So uh, you might be sitting there serving some very weird things with the peg leg. Just be careful there. All right, so what do we need to do? Travel to the cave entrance. Looks like it's right in front of us, so that's not too big of a journey. All right, so let's see. If we just come down around this way, hopefully we can take a right here in a second. Enter the instance, and I'm assuming this is probably going to be the ending part of it, because it looks like it's going to be mostly putting us towards finding this Drakkar guy. Hold on, are you able to take some damage here? Yeah, we're fine, buddy. Nice. All right, so we're going to run past all these guys because we're too fast for them. Well, for mount, yes, we would like to enter this instance. So, boom, do it before you get hit. That way, you don't have to fight everybody, and you're good to go. Voice in the deep. Javi, we're in the cave. We need you and Cloudseeker to keep the entrance clear. Sure, you don't want to join us? Could use the help. Cloudseeker and the Coden need me here. I have my mission, and you have yours. Break your car. We'll need to be quick. Bangor and Rylan could be here any second. Then what are we waiting for? But why the pig leg? My legs are fine. Maybe the golden tooth, but not the leg. <laughs> what does the commander want? Risha, don't listen to it. I'm sorry. Give me a second. That's right, everyone should kill that guy and let me have his powers. All right, so she's going to, looks like, melt through the ice for us, so that's pretty cool. It's gonna get worse the closer we get. I know. Let's go. Have you guys never seen X-Men? We're supposed to be wearing, like, those little magnetic helmet things that, like, disrupt the flow. All right, so Drakkar has spawned in a whole bunch of troops here, so we need to sit here and try to clear through them. Spawn in a couple plagues here on the ground. Yeah, so I don't know. I picked a Necromancer class. We probably will be trying a different class out eventually, but the fact that we're now able to use like a melee close range and, you know, do it like this, I do kind of like. It's like a mixture of both. We had ranged in the beginning and now we're sort of swapping to this mostly melee build. But I feel like we're just a little bit stronger doing it this way. But it's pretty cool being able to have a character that can do a little bit of both. All right, so let's see. So we've got an Ice Bruce Colossus that we need to finish. I guess just go through this little portal area. But why do you bring that? All right, so let's see. So we want to do some plagues. We want to make sure we watch out for the ice falling from the ceiling here, because it looks like we are taking a ton of damage from that stuff. I don't think it's from the enemies, but I think it's from the icicles. Maybe we should. Maybe we should what? 
<laughs> all right, so let's see. So we need to kill all these guys here. So ice, obviously, it doesn't seem like there's too many elements that actually work too much inside this game. So you would think like the fire would do extra damage, but I don't think that's the case. You, however, you do need some fire things to actually get through some of the ice doors and things. So I don't know. It could go either way. All right, so hold on. So we want to do you. Spawn a couple things on the ground here. Most of our major abilities are on like our eight, nine and ten, basically. So ten is going to be zero on your hot bar. That's going to be like your ultimate ability. So it takes the longest to cool down. Or you can use your F1 ability, which is basically you're going to as a necromancer, for example, turn into the spirit form and be able to do more damage before. It's mostly about lifesteal. Now it's mostly about killing with a scythe. Both sort of worked out. I feel like this one's probably a little bit funner tree, though. Alright, so let's see. So that guy's dead. Boom. No, everybody. About to say, I thought it was down this way. Everyone was just running up the hill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're just going to keep on chasing this guy down further and further, and eventually it's going to lead us to the area we need to go to. Let's see, so we have 13 seconds before we can put the plague down. So you're able to swap to like your staff, for example, if you want to put a, like a whole bunch of effects on the ground, and then ten of you swap over to your great sword if you want to like finish it out for like the maximum potential. But we normally just roll with either one or the other. But you can actually swap back and forth and just sit there and have like constant status effects on your enemies. So that is another playstyle. We just normally don't play like that. All right, so hold on. So let's get some of these guys clear now. It's here. Now, Halloween's big in Guild Wars. I don't remember. I don't think Thanksgiving has anything at all. Christmas, I'm pretty sure had. Yeah, they had a Winterland event. I remember that. Thanksgiving, though, I don't think that's such a big holiday in this game, at least. All right, so we'll clear out these guys. So we'll definitely check out all this stuff, but. Halloween's where you get all the cool stuff. So it looks like a lot of our allies sort of run up the hill and they run back down. Assuming it's whatever the voices are going. Yeah, I'm just trying to help you embrace your true calling to be a pirate. You seem so hesitant, but I may have turned your quest against you. What kind of pirate legend are you? <laughs> I ventured deeper into the cave. The whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, so it looks like we are going to be eventually fighting an ice dragon side of this DLC. So that's pretty cool. All right, so let's see. So we'll clear all these guys. So that's so right. On the fifth part, we were basically working alongside him, if I remember correctly, right? Is this the same dude or maybe this is a different guy? This might be Jorkar versus Jormog. Because Jormog is like the main dude. All right, so hold on. Oh, did I miss a couple of these guys? Hold on here. These guys are probably like, oh, why should we follow Commander? He's not even fighting. <laughs> All right, so let's see. We got all these guys and we should be good to go. We got us another ice griffin here that we need to slaughter. Then we'll be finished. All right, so let's do you. Spawning a couple effects here on the ground. Slowly start making our way through all these enemies here. Yeah, so Thursday we are planning on doing quite a bit of Call of Duty streams. Oh, we'll probably do Elliot on Thursday night. Wednesday night we're not going to be streaming because we're going to be setting up a couple how-to videos for early Thursday morning. But then Friday, we'll probably be streaming like the new Call of Duty Vanguard zombie map. At least try to do maybe the Easter egg if we can get enough information on it. But we'll see about that one. You truly want to talk. A parlay? We've got nothing to say to you. Stop talking to it. We're not. Kresha, can you get us through? OK, so it looks like we're just waiting for Kresha. Ice is too thick. Nothing I can do. Think, Cree. Strategy. Right. Right. Ridlock, draw Sahothin. Hold it up and stand still. If I can focus my magic into the blade. I take it back. I hate this strategy. <laughs> Wait, what now? That was easy. All right, so it looks like he's going to be melting it now. The animations and everything, they did a really cool job and stuff. All right, so that's all melted. It looks like the one in the front here is saying the longest. Nice. Three pass to go, right? All right, so that way he's blocked off. Nope, maybe it's just the one here in the... I'm not gonna make this easy. Was that just another portal that opened and closed? What? 
All right, so hold on. So we got an ambush here that we need to make sure we clear out here. So hold on, let's do a plague. Basically try to save the plagues for whenever there's a big group of enemies like this. That way we can utilize it to its maximum potential here. All right, so let's see. So we get a couple of these guys dead. Do they usually have zombie mats for Black Ops titles? Every single title from Treyarch itself has always had zombies. Now, this time around though, I I feel like this is the reason why Call of Duty Cold War had some issues, but um, what's it called? Infinity Ward? I think it was Infinity Ward. It was either Infinity Ward or the other one. Whichever company didn't actually fully complete their version of the game, they ended up having to cancel it, so Treyarch and another team stepped up to fully finish it. So Treyarch's doing the zombies on someone else's game, technically. So this next one is Zombies by Treyarch, but it's not actually gameplay by Treyarch for like the main storyline and everything. So this one's going to be like a like a mixture of both, kind of. So it was Sledgehammer, Infinity Ward, and Treyarch. I believe it was Sledgehammer's turn to actually do like a main Fledge game, but I think they had some issues. Pretty sure Sledgehammer comes after Treyarch. Let's see, so we got a gigantic dude with a sword here. He's just going to slowly walk in here. He doesn't care at all. <laughs> all right, so hold on. So if we swap over to our form here, can we do as much damage as possible? So he does have this little special shield here that we need to figure out how to break through. Looks like we can just sort of brute force it though. So we're probably just going to do it that way. Let's see, so Cold War. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Sledgehammer was supposed to do the next one, if I remember correctly. Because I didn't get the win before Cold War. So it should be Sledgehammer's turn. So Sledgehammer had some issues. However, they are carrying over War, um, Warzone, which is kind of odd since this is like the third iteration of it. So I'm wondering, like, eventually you're just going to have too many OP weapons going against these, themselves. like. What incentive do people have of doing the new one unless you sit there and make all the old ones junk? And if you make all the old ones junk, how can you keep your fan base there? So that's another question that I'm not entirely sure how they actually answer inside of that kind of stuff. Maybe they just don't care and they're fine as long as you play on one of their servers. All right, so I do see some ice spikes things over there. It seems like the Goliath is not too bad for us to handle though, so we're just going to focus on him. But I'm guessing the icicles probably sit there and take down some of his shield barrier. All right, so let's see here. We're taking down a whole bunch of hits here. So in a couple seconds here, we'll swap back over into the other form. All right, come on, buddy. You know you want to get up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, it was kind of weird. I don't know. I've always liked zombies, but at the same time, what was it, ghost? I think, oh, we need to back out of here real quick. I'm about to say these are these sitting here doing some stupid attack to us. So they had like this alien mode in Call of Duty, a ghost, I think it was. That one was actually pretty cool. I didn't even know the different Call of Duty games were made by different people. Yeah, so Activision owns like all of them, but if you notice next time you load into a Call of Duty, it's probably going to say one of the three names that I mentioned before. Alright, so this Alice Foundation, we're slowly chunking it away. It looks like a lot of our guys are sort of staggered. Maybe if we just do like the main champion here, it'll work out for us. All right, now, will one of our allies actually get us, or do we need to restart this? Uh, so, I mean, he looks super close to dead. Yeah, someone's getting us. Nice. There we go. She looks a little bit dazed. We're just going to have to stall for a little bit. <laughs> so maybe the icicles here are actually something essential. They only seem to target us, though. <laughs> Notice how we're dead and they're not actually doing anything. Never pay attention to game mockers when I play games. <laughs> you can also notice a little bit of difference in playstyle too. Some people say Treyarch games feel a little bit more like arcadey versus they claim Infinity Ward feels more realistic. I don't know. I prefer the way Treyarch's games feel, in my opinion, but for example, Modern Warfare always feels different than Black Ops, and that's the reason why. It's just the way they handle everything inside of their main studios. All right, looks like all we gotta do is corner your car. Ready for this? Don't know. Wolf Spirit made it sound that way. All right, so let's see. So we got 21,000 health. We got everything all decked out. We are max level, so let's see what we can actually do. Where's Drakkar? He's kind of big. <laughs> all right, 
Nice. can't focus when it's going that fast. We gotta get it out of the ice. And we'll melt it. Kreisha! Kreisha! If they kill Dracar, who's next? If we kill Dracar, then what? Who's next? You'd kill Bangar. Then Ryland. Destroy the legions to stop Jormag. Ryland. Stop listening, both of you. Redlock, you know none of that's true. All this time you were planning to kill him. I trusted you! Commander, get out of the way! Whoa, whoa, wait, what now? So they're going to do their attack, so I'm assuming we're supposed to run over here and make this dude try to kill us. Yeah. There we go. Alright, so we melted that ice. Okay, so hold on. We need to figure out a way to not burn to death while we do this all right so give it a second to see if this data picks us up he's flying right down this so we'll, we'll retry from a point on this one we need to figure out a different strategy all right so his fire thing so maybe we're just supposed to run over here and just like don't even stop just let it touch it and basically just continue on over into the next area here so wait for it boom it's going to melt away that's right keep on coming buddy uh, it didn't necessarily seem to do anything too much though so last time it definitely worked out when we got burned to death, but the plan is to not die this time. So if we wait a second. There we go. Maybe you do have to just take a little bit of burn damage. So it's going to hurt us a little bit. So we're going to be able to heal technically. I don't know how you would do this as a regular character, though. Oh, whoa, 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 don't stop. Hold on. So we'll come around over to this corner here. We're basically just trying to run around from the fire. <laughs> All right. So we got 7000 health. Swap over and reperform. Are we close enough to life steal any of these guys? So it looks like some of these guys are hurting their buddies, but it doesn't seem like they're caring at all. So hold on. So if we come around over here to this side, we got 7,000 health right now. Wait for it. Wait for it. Go. All right. So that's going to burn. So we got 7,800. Come on. Go, go, go. Burn a little bit more. Oh, come on. 1,000 health. <laughs> All right, so we got an ice brood Goliath. So we got some trolls around over there. Are we able to? Looks like we're able to do a little bit, but we're just getting melted away. So he has some sort of shield, though. We've got to figure out a way to do this. Technically, it says four out of five, so maybe this is the right way to do it. Obviously, we're sort of brute forcing it instead of doing like the proper strategy. But I mean, we got majority of them last time. Let's see here. Oh, there it is. Oh, we're frozen. Oh, that is so mean. Hold on. So let's hop around over here to this side, burn this last bit, and hopefully that frees whatever we're looking for. Stand All right. Up. So in past eight, Relic and Christian. All right. So hold on. Hold on here. Bram needs to do his little shield thing. We both got knocked down. What? Okay. So he's distracting the dragon. We are on our own, so somehow we're going to need to figure out a way to kill these both these guys. Last time we did have a little bit of burn damage, so it wasn't necessarily too good. Let's see here. What was my good plan of not burning to death? Or what are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> so I am actually doing quite a bit of damages down here on the ground, so maybe this will actually work out for us. Hold on. Let's see, so let's just do a little bit of like some poison damage here on the ground. We try from the checkpoint. Good news in inside of major boss fights, you actually get checkpoints to where you can continue on fighting. So he's going to be doing his little ice damage here. We're going to be able to run through and just sort of ignore that for the time being here. So we want to make sure we do the plague abilities. Do a couple of stuff around here. He's going to be throwing a whole bunch of icicles. So let's see. So Kreisha is slowly starting to take more damage here. We're accidentally typing, so let's get rid of that. All right, so hold on. Good news is we're doing damage to both of them, so I don't necessarily have a main target that we're trying to take out. I feel like Rylek's abilities probably be a little bit better, but I don't know if you actually defeat them, if it cures their mind, or if they're just going to be dead on the ground and then you eventually revive them, and then they come back as your allies. So if we could get them on our side, then I feel like Rylek's abilities probably are just like slightly better. All right, so hold on. So let's see here. Boom. Now, it is kind of one interesting that both of these guys are the exact same kind of people. So I'm wondering if the char are easier to mind control compared to the other races. 
All right, so let's do this. Let's do this. Boom. Get some dark armor here. Now we're not burned to death. It seems like we're starting to handle these guys a little bit easier than before. One of them's already dead. We got Rylock here. Just going to be the guy in the front. All right, so come on, buddy. You know we want to sit here and die. Our plague ability is pretty crazy. <laughs> All right, so she's just dead on the ground. We can't actually pick her up. He's going to be dodging all the way. We got 20,000 health, so hold on. We're just going to go all out on you, buddy. Just die. All right, so let's see. Boom. When is Bram summon the power? OK, so he summons in a world of rain. So am I just supposed to watch this? Britlock and Krisha. Are they? Out of it. They'll be up in a few minutes. You all right? Yeah, it's just... Uh... What? Graham? Working with the lost spirits of the wild. You mortals truly are brilliant creatures. It... No. Jormag? This is but a piece of me, an ambassador, the whisper that spreads my words. It definitely worked out. We need to kill. <laughs> Ridlock, Kreisha? Our voices are not our own. We don't need to fight. You've already proven your strength. Oh, wait, what now? We don't need to fight, but we're going to fight anyways. <laughs> All right, so let's see. So we need to kill them. Looks like we're not going to have Ritlock or Krisha actually helping out. Let's see, are we able to brute force this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it looks like the worm's doing a little bit of damage like all around us. But as long as you just sort of stick around and make sure you're not actually going to be targeted on the ground, you should be good to go. So a lot of these missions are designed to where it does take a little bit in a boss fight. You can bring people in here if you want, but normally they're not too bad if you're by yourself. Let's hold on. So we're going to do a plague ability here on the ground. Especially for this character, at least. I am kind of curious to see, like, if you played as more of a passive character and less about DPS or being an AOE character, if you'd have a little bit harder time doing this. But I, I don't know. Still fight me as a Nord. What? All right, so she's going to do the tornadoes. We seem to have tornadoes issues everywhere. <laughs> All right, so hold on. So. One thing that would be nice if he had like a shield ability to where we can run to and avoid some of that stuff, but it looks like he just protects himself. So hold on, so let's place another thing on the ground here. Let's see, so ooh. Alright, so we're frozen in. We didn't actually spawn into our spirit form. There we go. Nice. Alright, now I don't think we can revive our allies since they still have like that little drunk bubble thing around them. So we are going to burst our armor though, since she's going to be mostly vulnerable when she does the tornadoes. As long as you like run directly on top of her, you should be fine. And if you run around to the back side where every single time she does like the little V-shaped attack, you can sort of dodge the majority of the stuff she's doing. All right, so hold on. So we'll roll ready from that. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer here. He's going to knock us up. We take a little bit of damage. Borrow some health from you, buddy. There we go. All right, so let's see. So we want to try to put as much status effects down on here on the ground. It's got 11,000 health here, so we should be fine. No, we might even swap to this. Just do a couple of these, like, life drain abilities and things like that. Might make it a little bit easier to survive while we're sitting here dealing with everything. Maybe uh -huh. even become more whoa, 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 whoa. No. <laughs> All right, well, I'm guessing you don't want to get touched by the ball, so we're just going to run in the middle there. There we go. Nice. You gotta, you gotta kill it quick. Are you back up to normal, buddy? No, you're not. All right, never mind. <laughs> I to say, if I can revive him, I'll go for him. All right, so we got 3,000 health, so we definitely want to try to back away a little bit here. See if we can do a little bit more damage here. So we got 4,000 here. This character is really good for life stealing abilities. So basically, we're borrowing everything from this dude. Oh, when he shoots us up, we can sit there and just fly up like that and we'll be fine. All right, so hold on, we want to try to dodge these bubbles. <laughs> I was a little close, but I think we got rid of most of them. Yes, that was on me. I didn't realize that we could sit there and pop up like that. All right, so hold on. So we want to do another plague ability there. 
that's basically going to do the most AoE damage to him. All right, so let's see. Last time it was bubbles right after that, so we want to make sure we're on track of that. So he's got a quarter health, so we are going relatively quickly through this dude. Uh, he's burning us right now. Looks like we're knocked on on the ground. All right, so hold on. We want to make sure we're avoiding the balls as best we can. Let's see, are we able to use his body as like a shield? Oh, do they always spawn? What? I didn't even see what hit us that time. All right, hold on. So let's see, so Bram's going to be walking towards him. We're just going to be doing a few life chain ability things because we're a little bit too far away from him. We're not going to be able to pick ourselves up. I don't think we're going to be able to do enough of this life drain stuff to him, but we should have a checkpoint to where we're going to be able to spawn it. And he's already going to be at the O. And we should be able to run inside of there since we did a majority of the damage here. Now, if there was like a whole bunch of smaller enemies around the world, we would utilize them to pick ourselves up. But unfortunately, it looks like it's just the main boss guy. So we're just going to stay here and just keep on attacking him. We're right next to Ritlock. Unfortunately, he's not able to do anything like this, though. All right, so this D's going to be attacking us a couple times. Looks like Bram's completely knocked out. So let's see. So let's retry from checkpoint. Get you back up. We're not done with you yet. All right, so let's see. So we want to hop up here like zero. All right, come on, buddy. You know you want to die. Let's hop over to you. I mean, for the most part, it's not too bad fighting these bosses. It does take a little bit of work, but with the lifesteal abilities, honestly, not extremely hard you might die once or twice but normally it's not too tough so hold on so we'll just do this we want to make sure we avoid all these little bubbles here nice and see if we can like run over to the side area here and get a couple extra damage in Let's see now looks like bram is still completely lost in the corner there so it's going to be a solo fight at this point on it's finally time for us to talk oh we did it I understand. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, does he not get my regular abilities? Does he get whatever my character normally has? All right, so hold on. So last time we fought our spirit self, it was kind of tough, but not too bad. So let's see here. We are doing quite a bit of damage to him. It looks like he's going to most be using a scepter, though, where we're able to use our sword. Let's see. So if we can just like place a whole bunch of effects here on the ground, make sure we get the plague on them. Let's see, so we want some lifesteal abilities around here. Boom. There we go. All right, so all those status effects are there. Should be slowly weakening this dude. We're just going to try to attack him from the front side. We got 15,000 health, so we recovered most of our stuff. Basically, as soon as you swap into those darker forms there, you're able to get majority of your health back relatively quickly. Let's see, so we want to go back to the great sword here, see if we can do a little bit of extra damage this time. Last time we relied mostly on the spells. All right, so let's see here. This little Sigit ability is the one that we actually take some of our health away to curse the enemies. At this point, though, it seems like he's about half health, though, so it's not necessarily too important. Now, the third ability that looked like a wolf head, basically that's going to be our dark armor to where we're able to supercharge ourselves. Hello! 5930. <laughs> I'm assuming that's the easiest way to pronounce your name or triple P. What do you go by? All right, so hold on. Boom. So I'm wondering if this is what Ridlock and everybody else are going through right now or not. a dragon champion. No! Fall back! We have our orders. Don't give it a chance to recover. Everyone, claws out. Rip that damn thing apart. Don't worry. I'm about to say, am I still supposed to be on the ground? The way everyone was speaking, it did sound like it. <laughs> All right, so hold on. Looks like everyone's just going to run in here, so we're just going to join the fight here. All right, let's see. They can't freeze all of us. Just get in there and pile on all the damage we can. Got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's so dead. Sweet. Now, you guys could have joined us from the beginning there. It would have been so much quicker. Hear that? What? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. <sighs> Where's the rest of your army? Drakkar was a threat to my soldiers, corrupting the weak. As you now know, we did what no Norn could. We drove Jormak back. 
And now the dragon's running scared. Hey, we've been fighting Drakkar all over this lake. You can't just swing in with, with my bow. Bengar, you've seen how dangerous Jormag is. You just said it yourself. You can't risk others being turned. Drakkar's death at my hands sends them all a message. I am Jormag's champion now. I alone can control the dragon. Jormag can't be controlled. That's not how this works. Ryland, don't tell me you believe this. My Imperator gave us an order. Owen, <laughs> I think it's UFL. I can't let you take credit. This needs to stop now. I couldn't agree more. What, this? what have you done? Why me? Man gets here at the last second, takes credit for the kill, and then he shoots me in the face. I understand, Commander, better than anyone. Commander, listen. It was always going to end this way. One char, one dragon, one champion. <laughs> Man turned into a werewolf and we missed all of it. <laughs> Alright, well good news is it looks like it automatically takes us to civilization. I'm guessing that's going to be the end of this part, but we'll see here in a second. Alright, so hold on here. My champion. Aurin. What? Where am I? My sanctuary. High in the Shiver Peaks. I guided your friends here so you could recover in peace. They're all waiting to see you. I'm sure you have questions, of course. I'll do my best to answer. Oh, is that it? <laughs> Alright, so hold on. Speak with Aurene. Uh, what have you been doing? Alright, hold on. We got the gist of that. So we need to speak to the rest of the allies. She says the same dialogue that if you spoke to her in any of the other parts, and since we spoke to her before, we're just going to focus on our allies here. Glad to see you're back on your feet. What happened in there? How'd you get me out? I might have, uh, become the wolf. Might have. For a little bit. Yeah. Wolf spirit was on to something after all. Just needed a bit of a push. A friend in mortal danger can do that. I knew you had it in you, Bram. You saved our lives. Again. Thank you. I, uh... Thanks. So... Bangar... Wasted no time stealing credit for our kill. Any That's what I'm saying. Couldn't bring an elder dragon to heal. It's probably having second thoughts now. And Rylan? Gone. With him. Okay, so Rylan is his son, if I remember correctly. So hold on, let's just grab all his chest that way. It gets out of our inventory space, so let's do you. Except all that. There we go. All right, so it looks like everyone's going to have a chat with Aureen. Why, Bram, you have hair again. Ha! You should have seen me before. My champion. Friends, I'm glad you're here. As we speak, the Char split themselves apart out of fear and rage. So what's our next move? We wait for Bengar's next move. He'll reach out to the legions, using Drakkar's death as proof of his power. If he starts splitting up the Char, we're talking civil war. And our son... Our cubs made his choice. Now we can only respond to it. We'll need to be ready. For anything. Yeah. For anything. Okay, so let's see your voice in the deep, so we'll collect all that stuff. Boom! You're encumbered again, of course. Alright, so let's see here. We're going to do, 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 do something around here we can actually deposit up. Assuming. Let's see, so we got a whole bunch of regular Halloween stuff. Now, eventually, we are going to make another character to where most of the stuff is actually going to be cleared from our inventory, so we won't have to worry about that for too long. Hold on, so Shadow and the Ice complete the following. Oh, ice! To our master points. Alright, fun series. We'll grab all that stuff. So let's clear to your uh, so anything else that we can actually get rid of. So we got chest. Line good. So this is going to be a whole bunch of basic stuff here. Sip liquid karma. There we go. 
We have a little bit of space here and we'll return back to normal. Let's see here. So it is going to kick us back out into the marches. It'd be kind of cool if it left you in the eye of the north since, you know, seems like the next part is probably going to be over that way, but actually we're on part four anyway, so we should be good. Did I? What? No, no, no. You can't sit here and load me into an attack. That's just... <laughs> all right. So hold on. So we need to destroy all these guys here. Might need to find a little bit safer place. So let's see. So we'll clear out these guys real quick. Sat there and tried to kill us. They planned that out to the T for us. All right, so we got all that stuff done, but it said we were supposed to get some sort of ice scepter thing if we logged on and did this event. So maybe we're supposed to be claiming it inside the store here. Hold on. Kill these guys here, so we're gonna get to like a safe ish place. All right, so hold on. Can I actually like do you? I'm not in your combat. All right, so that thing might be attacking us. You know what? Two, three guys might be a little bit faster than the rest of those guys. So we're just going to focus on them real quick. Bring all around over here. Let's see. So we'll kill this guy. Boom. Looks like you need to kill 10 imps in order to get a mastery achievement. So that's cool. So we got that. One more guy up the hill here. Looks like these guys do take a lot more damage than the rest. So maybe it is something based on the amount of armor and everything that they had in the area beforehand. All right. So we got all that stuff done. It'd be good. <laughs> this is the cheapest way to go to any major town right now. And during the Halloween event, you can teleport to the Mad King's Labyrinth, and then you can go out the door, and it's a free way to teleport around the world. It takes you to Lion's Arch every single time. It's going to be like the main headquarters of majority of the cities around, so we're just going to be able to hop into here because you can basically tell a teleporter from this town to anything. But they were ready. They were. They sat there and tricked us. All right, so we're going to load inside of here and see if there's possibly a scepter that we're able to claim because we should have something available. The website didn't necessarily walk you through how to actually claim that though, so maybe not, but it says on about if you log on right now and play the this specific chapter, you should get a scepter skin. Last time we got us a miniature version of, what's her name, Cecile? It's on with a C. All right, so hold on. So let's try the backlight trading company. Wait for this to load in here. So this is basically going to be their paid store and then you can buy stuff from other players here. So is there like a promotion? Da, 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 da. So this is all going to be for like Halloween stuff and things. Is there like a free button? Deals, blah, blah, blah. Mushroom stuff we don't care about. There we go. You. You were supposed to be able to get this guy for free, though. What? Don't click. Yeah. So maybe it's just like brand new and the dude who made that article completely was wrong. <laughs> All right. So we got two things in liquid karma. Annual extra life community goal. Cool. I guess we must have done something part of the community. All right, guys. Well, that is actually going to be it for today. We're going to be mostly doing these live streams based on this live world event and stuff. That way it's relatively easy to follow. But if you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe. And we'll be back at this again next week on Monday. Tomorrow we're going to be off because we are going to be trying to do a couple how to videos. And then Thursday night we should be back to Elyon and possibly Friday we'll be doing a zombie lobby at roughly around like five o'clock. If you guys are interested. Yeah. Thanks so much.